Yo, what's good, people, man? Your boy Persona, Game of Persona, one half of the What's Up PlayStation podcast crew. And uh, I think I might have messed up my audio. Let me see. Hold on. Uh, how y'all feeling today, man? Hope y'all good, man. Happy, healthy, and safe out here, man, on this lovely, lovely Thursday afternoon, man. Appreciate everybody coming through, man. Welcome to this live reaction to the Xbox Developer Direct. Can Xbox deliver? We'll have to wait and see. We will have to wait and see. Big shout out to everybody in the chat, man. Appreciate all of you, man. Amumra 3K, Kratos99, uh, Ice Queen Gaming in the building, Gamer Boy 83 TZ the Goat in the building, Brian East, Press, uh, Press Alpha, uh, Kendra in the, in the building, Mama Kendra, shout out to Kendra in the building, Tri Celsius, Jay Barry, other half of What's Up PlayStation Podcast in the building, uh, Henzu. Hatori in the building. It's me, baby. 80 in the building. True GB in the building. Big shout out to y'all, man. Big shout out to y'all, man. No cap podcast in the building. Ah, uh, the laughs are coming. Hopefully, Indiana Jones looks good. Hoping it looks good as well, man. We're gonna have to wait and see. Cause I don't know. We don't know. We don't know what's going on. Uh, but listen, I want to make sure my audio was on point before we start this up. Uh sick Nick uh Mondo, what's going on with you, bro? I appreciate you. Shout out to everybody in the chat, man. Baticus in the building. Shout out to my boy Bats, man. Big shout out to Baticus in the building. Uh, if this show is booty cheeks, I'm blaming No Cap and Persona. Ah, oh, man. Bari. Caleb Kaiser. Caleb in the building. Shout out to my boy Caleb. Jacob Walker. Curse Kane. Accurant in the building. Shout out to y'all. JRO49 in the building. Shout out to everybody in the chat, man. You know, I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, can we get a round of applause for the folks in the chat, please? Round of applause to the folks in the chat, man. Round of applause to the folks in the chat. Will I be laughing? Who knows? We'll see. Listen, I want to make sure my audio is on point because I made a change and for some reason the change didn't work. Let me see. I'm going to play the, I'm going to play the Last of Us trailer. Is the trailer, let me know how the sound is, guys. Is the sound good versus my voice and everything? Is everything good? Let me know if the sound is good. There's no echo or nothing like that. Turn the audio up. All right, hold up. I got y'all. Hold up. Hold up. She said turn the audio up. Shout out to, shout out to Mama Kendra. All right, hold up. So that's what we're going to do. Finish it. How's that? I really hope you make it. Dina, watch out! Is that good? That might be too loud. Let me know if that's too loud. That's perfect. All right. Should have killed me. All right. Sounds good. All right. Cool. By the way, I can't wait for Last of Us Part Two Remastered. Oh my God, yo! I'm playing through this whole story again. Also, I will be um doing. I will be doing a live stream this weekend, playing through the no return mode. You know we was going to play through that no return mode. We playing through that this weekend, man. It's going to be on point, man. I'm really excited for that. But with that being said, guys, listen, it's the first main, as you would say, main uh, deliver, developer direct. Yo, I'm realizing, yo, this sweater, this sweater looks hella big on me. I'm looking at it now. Like this is one of my, you know, your boy, listen, your boy been in the gym super heavy. You feel me? And I'm realizing, yo, this sweater looks massive on me. I'm looking in the camera. You know, they say the camera adds 10 pounds. God damn it. With this sweater, it might be 25. This sweater got me looking hella big. Shit is crazy. Um, but yo, listen. Um, yo, man, listen. It's the first major. It's the first major uh, direct or something from one of the major big three this year. And, uh, you know, it, listen. For me personally, obviously we know that yo stone in the building. That's milk of magnesia. I know that ain't milk of magnesia in the chat. Shout out to shout out to shout out to milk of magnesia, Miss Stone in the building. Uh, shout out to sticks. 
course, is a big hardcore gamer. Shout out to everybody, man. I appreciate you. Listen, I appreciate y'all that rock out with me, man. Like, that, that really, it, it warms my heart. You know, it warms my heart to see that so many of you lovely people rock out with your boy, rock out with my channel, rock out with whoops, obviously. I uh, appreciate y'all, man, so much. Who else is here? Star Guardian 88 in the building. Shout out to my boy Star Guardian in the building. Appreciate you. Appreciate everybody. You low key disappearing, bro. I'm disappearing from where? What you mean? What you mean, sticks? Let me know what that means. Disappearing where? Is, is my camera messed up? Am I messed up? Let me know. Anyway, what I was saying was, um, yo, listen, it's the first major event of the year. Obviously, uh, you know, <laughs> yo, Damien, what's up? Obviously, it's coming from Xbox. We having a direct, and they kind of put out what they were going to show: Indiana Jones, Hellblade Two. Uh, I think we're supposed to be seeing Avowed, and I forgot the other game that we're supposed to see. It's like three, it's like four or five uh, major games we're supposed to be seeing um, today, right? I'm just hoping these games are good. Obviously, Hellblade 2, I'm already sold on that. That's a game that, like, I'm picking up day one. I know there was rumors of it coming out um, in May, which I think is a great time for the game. Gives enough time for all these other major hitters. Oh, I'm getting thin. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Sticks. I appreciate that, man. Real talk. I, I really do appreciate that. Um... And so when it comes to when it comes to that, you know, uh, Hellblade 2, I think is, you know, that's that's on, my, on top of my list. Indiana Jones, I'm kind of one foot in, one foot out. I need to see the game. If I'm impressed with what I see here today, that's going to be a pickup. I am I'm a big Indiana Jones fan. I love the old school movies and whatnot. Right. So um, Indiana, your vigilante, what's up? So Indiana Jones, that's kind of like a shoe in Avowed. Now, here's the thing with Avowed for me personally. When we originally saw Avowed, it looked cool. When we got that initial reveal trailer, it looked cool. After that, what I was seeing, I'm kind of like, this looking a little Sea of Thieves-ish. Sea of Thieves-ish. You feel me? Well, I'm like, uh, I don't know, man. Like, we, we might have to pull back from this, right? But uh, with whatever they show today, if I'm liking what I'm seeing, I might snatch that up too. Who knows, right? And, you know, if they got any surprises or whatever, uh, it'll be interesting to see with Xbox and what they show. Um, but for me, I'm mainly here for Hellblade 2 and uh, and Indiana Jones. For Hellblade 2, if we don't get a release date here, it's an L. I don't give a fuck what they show. They have shown Hellblade 2 so much. We need to get a release date here. So I'm hoping we get a release date. And Indiana Jones, uh, they already confirmed that we're going to see some gameplay. I'm just hoping the gameplay is good and it looks fun. And honestly, I'm hoping it's not in first person. I'm actually hoping that Indiana Jones is in third person because... With Indiana Jones, you know, that's a game that you want to play in third person. It's like Tomb Raider or Uncharted. You don't want to play that in first person. Like, I, me personally, let me say me. I, I'll put it for me. Me, I don't want to play something like that in first person. I wouldn't want to play something like that in third person. So I'm hoping with Indiana Jones, this is third person. But it is being made by Machine Games, which, if I'm not mistaken, made the Wolfenstein games as well. So, and that, those are obviously first person. So I'm kind of, like, a little weary of that, right? Um, but listen, we're going to see what's up. Who knows, right? Who knows, right? Yo, the Floyd in the building, Jeff B. Gaming in the building. Shout out to everybody in the chat. But what are you guys most excited for from this uh, Xbox Direct, man? Is there anything... Sp 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 can't even talk. If there's anything in particular y'all want to see um, or excited to see in terms of, like, the games that they announced will be here. Uh, if you can't capture enemies' hands with the whip, it's an automatic fail. I want to try the FPS game. Yo, Barry, get out of here. Cut the cap, cut the cap. Yo, Viper Reef's corner in the building. Shout out to my boy, uh, Viper. Face man, that's what Persona calls it. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Best of South Central while you're drinking juice in the hood. <laughs> Don't be a menace. TV4 vibes. Totally forgot, TZ, how you like the OLED. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Kali Yuga in the building. Shout out to you, Kali. I just want to see some good quality games, period. Yo, Kendra, I'm with you on that. I'm with you, man. I'm with you. Uh, yo, fit, uh, yo, Fitness by Keys. What's good? When do the show start? Nothing. I'm just here to watch. It started in uh, five minutes, actually. It started at three o'clock. Let me refresh. Make sure we good out here. Start at three. Start in two minutes. Two minutes. Um, hey yo, Persona, is it EX? Is it Xbox or is it Xbox, sir? Stone says she lean, she learned from you. Oh, it's the it's we call it the S box, E S S that S box. It's the S box. You feel me? We if you feel the feel me, we, we all excited to see a little bit of that S box. <laughs> yo, that guy Smitty in the building. Shout out to my boy Smitty. 
Want five minutes of straight Hellblade combat? Yo, facts. Yo, Priscilla, what's going on? I ain't seen you in a minute. Priscilla, shout out to you. Shout out to Bella the Ball, PS4. Appreciate you subscribing to the channel. Priscilla, appreciate you. Indiana Jones, weapon of choice is a whip. That's what I want to see. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Shout out to Priscilla in the building. It's the S-Box. Yo, Kendra, it's the S-Box. Uh, yo, Captain Ply, what's good, man? He says, uh, Indy Jones will look like Uncharted, want to bet? I, hey, yo, real talk? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised since Uncharted took his inf inspiration from, like, Tomb Raider, Indy, and all that stuff. So, I wouldn't be surprised at that. Still waiting for my WLF edition to shoot ship. Yo, listen, they took the money from me. Yo, Steady Flow was good. Mr. Polar was good. Yo, they, 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 nah, it's not over. It's, it starts in two minutes, Mr. Polar Bear. Polar Bar, Polar Bar. Um, yo, listen, they took the money from me for the WLF edition. When was it? Monday? Uh, Monday? Sunday? Yeah, they took it from me from Sunday. But what's going to happen is they're going to ship it out tonight. That's typically how PlayStation Direct does things like that. It's already in New York, or it's already, like, in, like, the processing center. They're just waiting for UPS to pick it up, so... It'll, it'll, uh, for me, I know it'll, it'll most likely ship out tonight and be delivered tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, like it normally is. They took my bread. Listen, PlayStation be playing around, man. They, 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 they ain't waste no time taking the bread. You ain't waste no time taking that bread. So what's going on here? All right, it's three o'clock. Come on, Xbox. Don't be late. That's the first impression. You can't be late now, baby. Shout out to Steady Flow, Philip K. Shout out to everybody in the chat, man. Y'all know I appreciate y'all. Yo, speaking of which, the uh, there's gonna be a digital. The the WLF edition comes with a digital version of the game. So, uh, cause I already bought it, I'm already buying it digital for the ten dollar upgrade. So I'm gonna give away the 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 the, the Last of Us Part Two remaster version of the game. I'm gonna get I'm gonna give that away to uh to y'all, to somebody in a uh you know one of my supporters and whatnot. L, Pippo. El Fippo, what's good? He says, lost 120 pounds last year myself. Keep going, big dog. Oh, yeah, listen, man. I told y'all, man. We, we gonna be swassing nigga by, uh... We gonna be swassing nigga by June. Pumping a lot of iron. Trust me. Pumping a lot of iron. A lot. We pumping a lot of iron, man. All right, here we go. Here we go. Starting up. Starting up. Refresh. Let's refresh. And let's see how we do, guys. We'll see what's up. That seems a little too loud for me. Is that good? Let me know if that sound is good. Here we go, guys. Is the sound good? Let me know. Is my voice good with the sound? Let me know. Let me know. Yo, Philip Sin, what's up? I love the start music. All right, we good? Here we go. Let's see what Xbox do. Yo, Trap House, what's up, man? All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Sure rated. Oh. Y'all already know I always love to give y'all a high quality experience. Y'all know how I do things here. I don't play around. Yo, we gotta count how yo, we gonna count how many black folks we see in these uh videos. Damn, I ain't seen one black person at all that. I seen one. God damn. 
for the black folks. <laughs> I only see one black dude. That was at the beginning of the video. Yo, Bird, what up? Oh, we start with obsidian? All right, I could go to sleep. Welcome to Obsidian Entertainment. I'm so proud to share with you our upcoming fantasy action RPG, Avowed. Avowed is an adventure into the heart of the living lands, a frontier at the edge of the known world, where you must put a stop to a mysterious spiritual plague and discover a secret at the heart All right, of the All right, this in 4K60. At Obsidian, we love creating worlds with deep themes, dynamic gameplay, and thoughtful reactivity. And Avowed is no different. We set out to blend the believable and fantastical to give players a world and experience like no other. It's colorful, it's vibrant, it's strange. It's one of the most incredible settings in the world of Aeora. Sound is low. Uh there's going to be a lot of great secrets to discover, one of which has a really personal connection to you as the player character, and you're going to have a great time getting to know those secrets and leaving your mark on the world. And when it comes to encounters, our combat brings the best of the moment-to-moment -moment fun that comes with action-oriented gameplay and the depth and breadth of choice that you get with an RPG. Here to talk more about Avowed's combat is Gabriel Paramo, gameplay director. Here at Obsidian, our team's overarching goal is to empower you with choice. So we developed a flexible combat system that allows you to quickly swap from spell casting to melee combat. We want to give you the freedom to mix and match your loadout to fit the way you want to play from moment to moment. For all battles, you can combine a variety of weapons, attacks, and abilities for right, tactical advantages good. against a wide range of enemy types. It's not just hacking and slashing. You're making real-time decisions about when to use your abilities, powerful melee attacks, blocks, parries, and special attacks. If you choose to approach combat with a one-handed wand, it feels quick and snappy when dealing damage to enemies at mid-range. Using the Tanglefoot ability, you can stop enemies in their tracks, giving you the opportunity to focus on weaker or tougher combatants in an intentional and controlled manner. It's important to pay attention to the types of enemies you're dealing with. Some units are extremely defensive, some are brutishly difficult, and others you must make sure you prioritize or their healing capabilities will put you in a tough spot. To help with the different encounters you will face, we provide customizable loadouts that can be quickly switched during combat. That means you can play however you want. Equip a sword and shield and charge into battle. Dual wield pistols and control the encounter mid-range or even dual wield wands to feel like a gunslinging mage. You could use your enchanted wand to freeze enemies and then use your offhand weapon's power attack to shatter them. We've worked hard to keep you constantly engaged as battles unfold by creating a balance between pressure and manageability during combat. Players will have ample choices for how to build and progress their envoy in the world of the living lands as they get to know the game and the story and explore the many diverse regions. Some quests in Avowed will have you make difficult decisions with profound consequences. Like this side quest you may encounter in Shatterscarp, the third region you'll explore on your journey through the living lands. As you're exploring, you come across the bodies of these fallen soldiers. And as you explore the remains of the battle, it's up to you to determine who, if anyone, is at fault. <laughs> Just the four of us. Manu, Kiri, Naoki, and me. Training under Captain Ruiki. Trying to keep Thirdborn safe. In other words, you're a gang of vigilantes. Not that I'm one to judge. Here. I take my badge. I take everyone's. Our families deserve to know we fought and died for them. Making the right choice isn't always what it seems. We embrace moral nuance and gray areas, trusting players to make tough decisions in complicated situations. My, my squad and I rested in the cave by the water. Damn, even this dude we got that hairstyle, bro. Yo, miserable Zorips. Why? What is up with developers so in this hairstyle? This is an alien he with this so goddamn dark. hairstyle. I just got Jesus separated Christ. from else. Developers, please. Look, I, I, I can't face those monsters alone. But I have to know if anyone else made it out. Of course he did. Sergeant Asui never has a thought he won't say out loud. So what did he tell you? That Captain Ruiki was sick? 
that I was paranoid. This is an alien. Is this supposed to be a black baby. alien or some shit? Why they got that hairstyle? And loudly. Wait, if you found Sergeant Asui, why they just can't let it go, bro. It's crazy. What happened? At the end of the quest, you have a choice. When you confront Private Naoki, if you believe the story he's told you, you can hand over the badges and let him this go. This dude ain't home. even black. And he You're got right. the goddamn this alien. Isn't something you can and they got the for, goddamn hairstyle. What's going on here? It's not my fault. The man's an alien. No, they, Why does he need they that hairstyle? Never camped in the cave. Crazy. I'll take the badges. I'm going back to Thirdborn. But if you confront him, if you believe that he fled the site of the battle as an act of cowardice, then he might challenge you to a fight to reclaim his honor. Either way, when you return to town, you'll see the consequences of your actions and the choices you made during this quest. Creating an immersive experience like Avowed is anchored in the world we build. Art director Matt Hansen and the team have worked to create a unique, colorful, and dynamic visual style. From the outset, we knew that we wanted Avowed setting to feel rich, weird, and wonderful. We found inspiration in a wide swath. Oh, I saw another black dude in the background. Cultures, helping us create Only a, a black dude would be wearing RPG a fitted at work. By contrasting the vibrant with the dull or verdant spaces with sickly ones, we can better deliver complex emotional experiences for our players. The Living Lands is a continent of untamed valleys with widely varied biomes, from luxuriant forests to volcanic wastes. And each Yo, of guy, those regions up? itself is a conflux of storied landscapes. All of the regions have guys. A lot this of stream is at 4K 60, by the them. way. So like, but I have a and obviously you can stream at 1440p 60 as well. But this looks. You're wandering the wastes of I mean, I I, I want to see the native. I want to see like the, the native, a vibrant but... jewel of color. By transitioning from some of the areas look nice. Like this looks nice right here. of a wasteland of sand, and marching in towards a beautiful oasis. There's the opportunity there for life, for adventure, and even a little danger. They need to up the bit rate on this stream because some of some of I don't know if it's the bit rate of the stream or some of We're it, but thrilled to share more about the game in the coming months, and we can't wait for you to explore the living lands when Avowed launches this fall. Oh, okay, so Avowed's coming this fall. I mean, it looks okay, but it, it's not what I was expecting entirely. They gonna give a date? Okay, no date. Fall 2024. Xbox, PC, and Game Pass. See, Game Pass is his own thing. They ain't even tying that shit to Xbox. Fall 2024. Okay. Oh, here we go. Ninja Theory. They better give me a date for this game, man. I've been looking for this forward to this game for a long time. I need that date. Stop playing around. Hi, I'm oh, there go black dude right there. All right, so we've seen three Ninja black Theory folks so far. Cambridge, UK. We're now in the final months of development on Senua Saga Hellblade 2. And the team is working hard to bring you an unforgettable journey into Senua's unique world and her battle for survival, where we have once again combined high fidelity and immersive presentation with a shorter narrative-led experience that focuses on the things that we really The care rumor was May, uh, Brian, we for uh, Hellblade 2. Care about too. Senua is back with a new quest. She wants to stop the Vikings who raided her village right at their source in Iceland. But not just her quest has changed. Senua herself has grown since the first Hellblade. She's made peace with her past and is no longer in such fear of her visions and voices. While the Furies are still her constant companions, she encounters new people along the way, some of which will value her unique perspective and others who will reject it. Little by little, this settlement became my tribe. In the game, Senua arrives in 10th century Iceland on the trail of the Vikings who have been enslaving her people. In the story, we're trying to be as faithful to history as we can up to a point. 
establishing a solid framework and then building more surreal elements on top. Senua face up to giants who have plunged the land into chaos and which in turn has seen the rise of the Joiga, a violent threat that has swept through the settlements that she'll discover. Senua will make new enemies and also new allies who will come to see her unique perspective as a beacon of hope. And she'll discover along with us how this viewpoint can have its advantages. Senua is a Celtic warrior who experiences psychosis, seeing things that other people don't, hearing voices and having unique beliefs about the world around her. To bring Senua's perspective of the world to life in a truthful way, we have once again worked closely with Professor Paul Fletcher at the University of Cambridge, as well as people with lived experience of psychosis. What does that mean? What does that mean? It's terrifying. Players will find themselves traversing beautiful and hostile environments. Seeking answers from patterns and signs that Senua sees Yo, in her Pink own Princess unique in the city was going on through mommy. encounters with enemies that will push Senua to her limits. Hellblade, Hellblade, Hellblade One was a really good game. Like this is definitely a very unique type of game play telling style and, and whatnot. Saga, I, I like Hellblade a lot, so like level. I really hope they knock it out the park with Hellblade Two. Space, a bigger stage team, a stunt crew, and a new cast. We spent a lot of time planning the motion capture shoots, thinking of what events would be good to bring into this fight. Like, how can we make this fight Yo, feel J was the previous good. fight? Yo, Mary we Wilcox, what's up? Combat for the sequel. One of our key goals was the ability to actually tell a story throughout it. Oh! It does feel very different from the first game, but it's very brutal and you're very invested in it. Senua isn't a superhero. She's fighting for survival, and we want the player to feel her struggle in every step of her journey. We want the player to always feel like they just scraped through, just survived it. All right, so it looks like it's gonna be it's gonna be no, have a little no, bit more Senua, combat than combat anyone, than the first game, I which do. I think is good. Her instincts are amazing, and she really doesn't need much help from me. On stage, our main focus is storytelling. So I get to watch the actors and see all the beautiful expressions on their faces. And then I have to wait a little while and then I get to see that all again in game, in costume, on location, everything. It's, it's a great experience, a great process. Every discipline in the studio is unified in achieving a deep level of immersion to help suspend Don, your John, disbelief John, what up? and pull you into Senua's story. I hope the we black bars ain't gonna be in the full full release of the game. I hope that ain't there because they've been be showing there. that a lot. The sense of scale, everything is incredible. Yeah, Black Bear, what's and good, bro? I think it looked really good too. You see a small section of the game and you're like, yeah, that that works. That's amazing. Senua experiences reality differently, and a part of this, yo, David, I see what else she hears. She will collapse. She will collapse. These voices come to life through binaural audio, which provides Eversley a good King, representation good. of this type of auditory hallucinations. As we focus in immersion, well, Hellblade uh, as a series, yo, Randy, what up? Hellblade as a series was never really the super you heavy combat game. It's all the, the main focus of the game has always the been her psychosis and the, voices, the journey and that she was making her head. for in her loved game, one and all that other stuff and the psychological and things that she was going through. That's the main premise of Hellblade, right? Like, it's not a Devil May Cry or something like that or a God of War. So I'm not expecting there to be like a whole whole lot of combat. But I hope that they do increase the combat experiences. Just a tad bit more, but this is definitely definitely a psychological thriller it's a, it's a type of language. game. The That's the main premise of this game. Emotions, fast Weezer, what up? It's not only about quality, it's about personality. So when you listen to Hellblade, you know it's Hellblade. On the music, we are working with Hailun, which for me is a personal privilege because I really admire them. We feel their craft, their depth, their meaning in the music. It really this is from uh, the Game Awards, game this uh, performance. And elevated to something really special. We are also working with a heavy metal singer, throat singers, and our very own Furies. They sing so beautiful, and we add that binaural touch of music. So this all creates a very Yo, Frederick, what's up? and a very special and unique experience. 
plus ultra what's good where's the fun? Our mission here at ninja theory <laughs> is to craft life-changing art with game-changing tech and that's our aim in senua saga hellblade 2 is to not only see where senua goes next but to deliver something really meaningful for our players my hope is that they will really connect to Senua as a character. And even if they can't really relate to what she's going through, maybe they know someone that relates to that character and they can then understand that person better. Well, I don't want to sound cheesy. Uh oh, but I've seen, in seen a, a black I'm guy? Senua, I, so there's right? another black guy. That's she what, four now? We have the four black It folks? exists through all of our work, through every ninja. So we all are Senua. And we are creating this character that grows and grows and grows and grows and keep growing and keep changing. So that makes it real. I'm so proud of the love, care and passion our team here at Ninja Theory are putting into Senua Saga Hellblade 2. Our hope is to not only create a game that is great to play, but to craft an experience that leaves you thinking and feeling. From our combat gameplay through to our action set pieces, from our cinematic scenes to our puzzle solving, everything is crafted in service of Senua's journey. A journey that you can embark on on May 21st. May 21st. Finally, you gave me a date. Thank you. Jeez. We there day one. This is a day one. I'm buying it. If this is up for pre-order on Steam, I'm buying this day one. This is, this is, that's a day one for me. I'm hyped for that Hellblade 2 for sure. Can't wait for that. That's a good day too. May 21st is a good date. All right, so play, Xbox got first party exclusive. They go to the first one. Unknown guest is waiting in the lot. Oh, I thought that was my computer. Like, what? What the hell going on? Square Enix. Yo, they got the marketing for Visions of Mana. Stop playing with me. Yo, stop playing with me. What? Word. Okay. Xbox. Okay. They got the visions of mana. Oh boy, yo, they gonna have fun with this one. Them bots gonna be on Twitter. Is is, is Xbox acquiring Greetings, Square Xbox Enix? Players. Is My Xbox is apply, acquiring Emma. Square Enix? Is Xbox acquiring Square Enix? Xbox user no minasan ni ichi hayaku otsutai dekiru kikai o itadakete taihen koe desu. Yo, respectfully, Xbox dude. Yo, let me let me let me tell y'all something. Respectfully, Xbox dudes not playing this. A lot, of, and, I, and when I say Xbox dudes, I'm talking about the zealous in this community. They not playing this. Respectfully, but I'm hyped for this game, man. I can't wait for Visions of Mana, man. Really, really excited for Visions of Mana. Is Xbox acquiring Square Enix? They're gonna come up in the Twitter space. Is that ponies? What do you think? Suck it. Is Xbox buying Square Enix? フィールドでは自然や精霊との繋がりを感じられる色彩豊かな聖剣伝説の世界を体験してもらえると思います。Yo, this looks so good, man. I can't wait for this game. Visions of Mana looks so good. Yo, Xbox dudes not playing this. They gonna see that and be like, what? Hell no. This most likely probably gonna be on Game Pass too. That's a good get. That's a good get for Xbox. Hello, I am Koichi Shi from Gretz. I am so happy to introduce the newest game in the Mana series to Xbox players. 初期の頃からシリーズ作品に登場しているモンスターたちは私が考案したものですが、中には小学生の頃すでにイメージができていたものも。Oh, セイケン伝説ファイナルファンタジー外伝を作っていた頃から自分の頭の中ではモンスターたちは立体的に生き生きと動いてこれまで自分が携わった作品ではそれらをどうやって当時の技術で表現できるかにこだわって作ってきました最
バトル中はモンスターたちの表情を見ることができます。Yo, Please give me a day for this so I can pre-order this game too, please. Yeah, it was Seekers of Mana, right? Any,、uh, SNES? Yep. Yeah, it was Seekers of Mana, right? 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 Yeah, it was Seekers They're giving us a lot of information, so I'm hoping we get a date here. Some way, the Yorkshire Terrier no Kenami, Mitame Arumajuni Yokunita, Senzanko, Ya, Koda, Egypt, Sino, Anubis, no Kodomoto, Ita, Gutai, Tekina, it's most likely going to be in Game Pass. I, I, I can see, I can see Square parting with this and giving this、uh, a Game Pass run. I, I think it might, well, I don't know. I, I, it might be in Game Pass. Let's see if dude's gonna support it and play it and buy it. Game in the world, the 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 game in the world. BGM でもしっかり聖剣ネーセスシリーズらしさを感じてもらえると思います。過去シリーズの楽曲を手掛けたクリエイターたちが、全曲というのは大ボリューム制作に挑んでくれました。新たな試みとしてフィールドの探索からバトルまでをシームレスに体験できるよう、今作ではインタラクティブミュージックを導入しており、冒険の没入感を高めてくれます。探索中の BGM がバトルに入った瞬間アレンジが切り替わる様を実際に聞いてみましょう。空中でのアクションがバトルの鍵となっており、武器での攻撃だけでなく、魔法での攻撃も可能になっています。Yo, they really increased, they really improved the combat from even trials, man. The trials remake was definitely, the combat was decent, but this looks like it's improving on that even more. This looks good. More seamless, the combat looks much more seamless and a lot more clean. Fluid. 精霊によってはさまざまな特性の違いがありますので。その効果とともに聖剣伝説の世界らしい不思議な力で爽快なバトルを楽しんでいただけます。Oh yeah, this looks, this looks, this looks fantastic. Monster やピックリにも注目してほしいのですが、聖剣伝説ビジョンズマナは聖剣伝説らしさを感じてもらえる作品になるよう。Yeah, combat is definitely much improved. Yo, Kelvin, what's good, bro? みんなが頑張って作ってくれていますので、ぜひ。発売日を楽しみ待っていてください。Games 私自身もプレイするのを楽しみにしています。Go give me a date. 聖剣伝説シリーズとして初めて Xbox ユーザーの皆さんにお届けする今作。This a test. This Square Enix testing y'all, man. ビジョンズオブマナは今後もさまざまな情報を届けます。Are you not giving me no date? ぜひご期待ください。この夏、We cannot wait for Xbox Community on Alpha Game Adventure this summer. ユーザーの皆さんに楽しんでいただけるか。This summer. I、right, so it's coming out this summer. Okay, Vision Man is coming out this summer. So, look, no, no game pass. Square Enix said, no, 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 sir. Square Enix told you, no, sir, no, sir. You are gonna show me that you want to actually play these games by buying these fucking games. Square Enix said, no, I know my worth. They said, no, sir, no, sir, no, sir. We will not be playing those games here today. <laughs> They told you absolutely not. You want these games? Show me you want these games. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. That's what they told you.、Hello. No, sir. We will、Welcome、not be doing that、games. here. Not 2024. We, the studio in we are not bringing that to 2024. I rebuke it. That's what Square Enix just told you. Like、Square Enix just told you I rebuke that shit in the name of Geek. They said, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. They told you absolutely to not. This is y'all test. Is an homage to historical This y'all test, man. This is y'all test. Walk around if you want. They told you no, sir. They told the world, you no, sir. Your nation, your people, no, sir. No, ma'am. No, sir. No, ma'am.
You gonna support this? We wanted to challenge you gonna support this? That's what Square Enix said. Push it forward a modern, this right here? You gonna you gonna and support this? Compelling and approachable. Way. You want these games? You gonna support? Example, you gonna support this? No sir. In the office, no sir. No ma'am. Things that we purchased in order to add to the soundtrack. No sir. No ma'am. Expand the game, and make it really good. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dan. If that's Dan, we started in his basement. It's been an amazing process to see from concept to completion. We started small, building a robust game engine, questioning our design assumptions, and prototyping out features, rediscovering what made us fall in love with strategy games in the first place. The end result is Aura. The historical this is like a Sith. This supposed to be like a Sith, a, a civil civilization you can style rule game. How you want to rule and chart your own path to becoming the most prestigious nation on the planet. For Ara, we knew we needed deep systems with outcomes that encourage exploration and give players the power to experiment and make meaningful strategic choices while still having agency over their playstyle. We also wanted to explore more in different parts of history and give players from around the world the chance to see the game reflect their unique perspective and not just ours. Oh, this is PC finally, only? We really? Knew that for players to feel the impact of their decisions, they would need to see their choices reflected in the game world itself, not just through numbers on a menu. One of the first differences you'll see when you dive into Aura is what we call the living world. It's a procedurally generated alternate Earth, bursting with life, an intuitive, authentic, and immersive this looks space, nice. a blank canvas for players to paint the society of their dreams. The living world isn't just a map. It reflects the choices players make over the course of the game. They can see everything from the settling of the wilderness to cultural influence on architecture over time to the thousands of citizens living their lives and reacting to the changes. We want players to feel like they're truly occupying the world, leading their people as they thrive and grow. Core to the vision of Aura is our philosophy of rule how you want to rule. And no feature better exemplifies this than the prestige system. To win a game of Aura, players will compete with their rivals to build the most influential, impressive, and important nation the world has ever known. This is measured by prestige, the player's score that proves their worth as a leader. The prestige system gives players the chance to decide what kind of leader they want to be. Do they want to pursue great works of arts and culture? Military might. Scientific advancement, the choice is theirs. In Aura, there are no set victory conditions. Players get to decide what is most important to them and focus and prioritize on those goals while still being able to win the game. Personally, when I play Aura, I like to build triumphs. Triumphs are our collection of incredible monuments and architectural achievements from throughout human history. Like the Great Pyramid of Giza, they're hard I'm, to build, I'm, I'm good on but this. worth it, <clears throat> giving huge prestige bonuses and game-changing abilities to the nation that constructs them. Another aspect of Aura that I'm personally excited about is our crafting system. The crafting system offers a unique challenge to the player that they generally won't see often in the 4X genre. Succeeding at balancing, gathering the right things, turning them into the tools that you need, and then finally getting to the outcome or reward of something like an important improvement or triumph just changes the challenge that exists in Aura compared to other 4X games. Crafting plays out in Aura at a national scale, with players honing and combining the natural resources they harvest into all manner of goods and components. Those are the foundation for everything, from international trade, to improving their cities and citizens' lives, and even manufacturing the weapons necessary to draft military units. The crafting system in Aura encourages thoughtful, advanced planning. It rewards players who can see the strategic outcome of all their collected decisions, and not just the individual ones. I'm proud of the work that's gone into our simultaneous turn system. Many strategy games have players alternate taking turns and reacting to their opponent's moves. In Aura, all players' actions are resolved at the same time. This rewards players' ability to navigate uncertainty, to predict and strategically plan for a variety of scenarios in the moment. This system makes Aura just feel more real. In a typical strategy game, once your turn is finished, you have to wait for a long time. With simultaneous turns, generally speaking, those times are very low. You get to keep playing the game and stay engaged rather than having those periods of downtime where you're not doing anything. 
It's not easy sitting Yo, Jenna, what's going on? History Zero Steel, what's good, man? Shout out to y'all in the chat, Jamal. What up? Offer a fresh perspective I'm good on this game. I don't really care about like Civ Millennia, games and games like this. Possible. I'm not. This is never really something really I've been like really interested in um, too leaders too much. So often At least not anymore. Like you know, Sims and stuff like that I used to play back in the day, but nowadays I don't really, I don't really play, I don't really play these types of games that much anymore. Cultural prodigies and many more. Each leader in Aura has a number Yo, Dave of Rock, special abilities up? determined by their personality traits. Gaming well grindhouse in the building. Yo, is this the bathroom break? Yo, this is definitely a bathroom history. break type of With game for me personally. Roster, uh, we know players will find Shout out to Jazz, man. Appreciate you, bro. Coming through, rocking out with me. Even a few that may surprise them with how fun it is when those leaders are handed the reins of power. For us at Oxide, player feedback is the only way to yeah, really Yeah, I, 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 I dibble and dabble in RTS. I like RTS. Just, uh, I gotta, you. I gotta be in a mood, Building man. That's my thing. Like, I really gotta be in a mood has given for those us that types of games. Player feedback. In the end, we believe this makes for Yo, a that's right. Yo, Jez, tell them hit the, the like button. It's 214 the people in here. Examples is when we it's only 61 likes. What's going on? Don't y'all don't y'all love me? It turns out in our first Don't y'all want to see me grow and thrive here on YouTube? Hit the disruptive. like button, folks. We knew we should probably hit the make like a button for your boy. One of our insiders made a forum post that was just Cougars, 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 I hate cougars. Someone get these feline demons <laughs> away from me. Yo, she said that kind of funny. Cougars, I hate cougars. But I think we ended up in a good place with the overall threat level. Hey, yo, that's definitely going to be a, a, a clip. <laughs> It's been years of hard work to bring. They this fell asleep, Persona. They, they like might have no fell asleep other. and forgot hit the like button. Listen, we're so excited that we can. Don't forget to hit the like button, folks. If you if you if you love your boy, we man. If you if you rock out with your boy, your Persona, regardless of what platform, what you want. If you rock out with me, rock out with the channel, with the content. Go and hit the like button. Can, can, can you do that for your boy? And continue to listen to players and support the game into the future. Cougars, I hate cougars. Everyone at Oxide Games, thank you for joining. Yo, Wolfgang Mashima in the building. for you to play Ara and to create your own history. Fall 2024, a lot, a lot of games with no dates. We're getting release windows, but no dates. I'm just saying, I'm on my business. Cougars, I hate cougars. <laughs> Yo, King Prell in the building, what's good? Hey, listen, ain't nothing wrong with a cougar, man. You know, she might teach you a couple things. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go, Indiana Jones. Let's see, let's see. Yo, please let this game look good be good please hey, okay. please let it be third person as well machine games we are priscilla she said she a cool cool priscilla you a cool good word indiana jones I, I wouldn't have thought that since the first film came out ain't no wrong ain't, ain't nothing wrong with a cougar man listen cool ultimate cougar. adventure a cougar Even teach you a couple things you understand you know they they know what they want they ain't with the culture. games they ain't with the cat and mouse in this game you aren't just Yo, Wanko, what's good? as in the, you are Indiana Jones. You will see through his eyes and experience a journey that we hope lives up to the proud legacy of Indiana Jones. When Todd Howard first told us about his vision for the game, we knew we would be a very good fit to help bring it to life. I've wanted to make an Indiana Jones game forever. I would had this idea. I'm 42 for what and need a cougar. Like and story, <laughs> Yo, what Indy Press Alpha, like you 42. You talking about dating a chick that's like in her 60s. What, what kind of arc he was going to have. And as the years went on, I thought, who would be like the might best need, you, might, you, you might need some WD-40. To make this. And it was my friends at Machine Games. <laughs> I can remember pitching Lucas. <laughs> you fuck with a chick that old. Being, you might need you know, some WD-40, my boy. Because, <laughs> look, it's, you know, Jones. And their response was just Let me chill, let me positive. chill. I'm just and joking. Just that excitement has bled through the whole project. And they have just been so trusting and supportive of everything that we want to do with the game. It's been a long time. I've been a fan of this my whole life. And I couldn't be more excited to show you what the team here has been up to. Let's take you know, a little spritz, spritz. at the new Indiana Jones. Here we go, here we go. Shh, shh. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. Let me tell you what you are missing. Here we go. Dr. Jones. While you were playing your pointless game, I was playing you. If you're wondering if maybe you should have built yourself a life of meaning instead of ending up here, dead and forgotten in the sense. Scott Rayner, you got a cougar? What's she like, 80? Oh, Indy! 
All right, please, 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 please. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Myths. Not first person. Oh my God, why? Why? Just different ways to interpret the past. Oh, Tony Todd. Thoughts and beliefs. Tony Todd in this? That's what's up. Oh my God! Come on. To be found. You can't just run away from your problems, Indiana. Watch me. Throughout history, mankind has built sites of great spiritual significance. If you were to draw a line through these ancient sites around the globe, you get a perfectly aligned circle. So wait, he goes third person when you swing, but then goes right back to first person when you're in combat and fighting and all that? Trust me. It ain't a walk in the park. Okay, then. Let's see if you can keep up. What do you mean if I can keep up? <laughs> Patron of the fallen angels. Protector of the... True. Remind me the great circle. <laughs> you have any idea how old that was? Indiana Jones is such an iconic character, and he means so much to so many people. Everyone here at the studio has their own indie stories and memories. Most of us grew up with his adventures and have been fans of the movies and the character for years. He's a brilliant archaeologist. He's a charismatic everyman. It looks cool. He's it's just and determined. It, it's not and first us, person, man. I just don't think adventure. it needs to be first person. Now we have this is a game. To tell Indiana a Jones Indiana is a game Jones that really needs to be third person, audience. man. Our game is all about putting you in Indy's shoes, letting you see and feel what he sees and feels. For us at Machine Games, we do that best through first person. It's the ideal perspective to bring you into the rich, exciting and interactive world we've built. We believe that being up close and personal to the adventure is key, making each action feel like your own. Whether it's cracking your whip, Solving puzzles in ancient temples. I, I just really wish this was a third person. I think it looks cool. Like I, I definitely am interested in this game. Much more intense. I just really wish this was in third person, man. Like I really, really wish this was in third person. Seeing his iconic silhouette with the hat, the whip, and so for things like cutscenes and environmental traversal, we pull the camera back for a third person view. Why not make the Indiana whole game Jones be that? The circle is set between Raiders of the Lost Ark. What logic is? What? Lo what's the logic in that? When our game begins, hey, we're gonna Indiana tease you by putting in third person where you're climbing and swinging. But oh, when you want to do combat and all that, oh no, first person. What are you? What are you? Like, why play? Why play around like that? The mysterious giant of a man makes off with what seems to be a historically insignificant artifact. Shout out to my boy Tony Todd. Curiosity. Who the hell are you? Following the trail, Indiana heads to the Vatican, hoping to learn why this particular relic was stolen and discovers that things aren't what they appear he starts pulling at the strings of a mystery and it all unravels until he has no choice but to see it through to the end whatever the end may be on next plane to Rome stop need help stop meet me in Vatican stop we always talk about how clever Indiana Jones is. That had to be one of our guiding principles when we were thinking about the type of game we were making. It wouldn't be Indy if he wasn't using his wits to get through the situation. 
The most authentic Indiana Jones experience we can make is the one that makes you think first. Getting the hang of this. Sure, there will be some obstacles that will be more easily overcome with the revolver or a gun taken from a disarmed guard. But I think most of the time you'll have more fun and, to be honest, a more genuine indie experience by finding more clever ways to solve a problem. We always want to be offering more solutions, whether it's trying a different path through the environment to get around enemies, observing enemy patrols and using them to your advantage, or using the tools at your disposal, like the whip. It's an amazing global adventure with action propelling you through your journey. We have these really diverse environments for you to explore. Indy's journey will take him to the forgotten temples of Sukhothai, the pyramids of Egypt, the snow-peaked Himalayas, and beyond. We look carefully at each location and the time period the game is set in, and we're trying to make it as authentic and accurate as possible. We love creating rich, vibrant worlds, and in this game, we also had the goal of making it feel like a true cinematic Indiana Jones adventure. One of the biggest ways to do that is with the music. John Williams is the original composer for the indie films, and we're really lucky to have found Gordy Hubb, a composer who's been able to capture Williams' essence with his score for The Great Circle. We also take a very movie-like approach to things like cinematics. We're very physical with our production style. We use a lot of stunt actors. Yo, I agree with things you. Like I agree with you on that. The gap so, 100%. between making a game and making a movie. And of course, our characters do a lot to help bring the world to life as well. Next to Indy, Gina is our other main protagonist. Where Indy is pursuing answers just for the sake of curiosity, Gina has a personal stake in getting to the bottom of the core mystery. Gina is an investigative reporter who has a lot riding on this adventure. She's been tracking a lead for some time, and now she's found an ally in this determined American professor. Their paths are intertwined, and they'll need each other in order to get to the bottom of this mystery. Okay, then. Let's see if you can keep up. Fight. What do you mean if I can keep up? We always love our villains and think we might have found our favorite one yet in Emmerich Voss. He's this intensely psychological man. He's obsessed with the human mind and manipulating it. He's highly intelligent and the perfect foil for Indy. They're both brilliant people, compelled by their passions and obsessions, but driven down wildly different roads. He creeps up on you and gets under your skin like he gets under Indy's skin. It's captivating. Dead and fall. In the sense of Africa. One of our models for Indiana Jones and the Great Circle is adventure first. But in every indie adventure, there are always those moments where he finds himself in the action. That's been one of those balancing acts for us, and we've ended up with this sort of hybrid experience that mixes melee combat, stealth, and gunplay. How you approach any given situation is up to you. You may choose to sneak around an enemy patrol, or maybe you'll just pick up a shovel and whack them on the back of their head. And when you can't use your wits, you got in this most iconic tool. Just like you see in the movies, one of our goals has been to make the whip as fun and multi-purposed as possible. We want it integrated into every aspect of the game. You can use it as a traversal tool to make your way around the environment. You can use it as a distraction. And yes, you can absolutely use it in combat. Everything you'd expect from in this week. <laughs> yeah, hopefully a little I'm bit dream more. I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming right now. Bro. Puzzles are a key feature in this our can't, This can't the be spirit this, of this can't be real. Is so important to Indiana Jones. Obviously, I'm dreaming. there are a handful of puzzles dreaming, on the main man. path, but a lot of the puzzles are optional and are just there for the players who want to experience them. I, the whip is cool. Epic I just crafts, wish it was just all third person. Secrets, like, I just feel like third person would work better right in with their surroundings. with a game like this. One thing I love about our game is the level of interactivity that we have. We have this world oh, yeah, of mystery that whip, that is pretty dope. could potentially hide a secret. The more you look, the more you'll discover. Gotta be kidding me. 
I want to thank you all for joining us for our big reveal of Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. Machine Games is known for creating these roller coaster experiences with huge set pieces, surprising twists, and immersive narratives. It's exciting for us that we have been able to stay so true to the Indiana Jones franchise and create such an authentic experience while still being able to showcase what makes us us. We are making a game for everyone, whether you are very familiar with the franchise or not. Because at the heart of Indiana Jones is an incredible adventure, and I think that's something everyone wants to be part of. I'm also very excited to announce that Indiana Jones and the Great Circle will be coming later this year, and we cannot wait to share more soon. Another game with no date. Come with 2024, just no date. I wish they would have gave a date. A lot of games, no dates. children and game developers. <laughs> Our mission here at Ninja Theory is to craft life-changing art with game-changing tech. Core to the vision of so really, we only got a date for Hellblade 2, which comes out May 21st. Stay happy! <laughs> Creating an immersive experience like Avowed is anchored in the world we build. You aren't just playing as Indy, you are Indian Jones. My name is Masaru Oyamada. Konsakwa Action RPG Seiken Densets no Action Bubun ga Kyoka Sareteimas. Yo, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it, man. Yo, Barry, pull up. <laughs> Barry, where you at? <laughs> Yo, I, I need, I need to talk to Barry about this, man. <laughs> Yo, Barry, pull up, man. Pull up, pull up. Yo, listen, um... I'm I'm going to give this 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 developer direct from Xbox. I'm going to give it a a, f a five out of ten. Um, it was cool to see more of uh of Hellblade two. Glad we got a release date with that, right? Um, Visions of Mana is cool that you know to see more of that. Uh, pretty interesting. You know, Xbox got the marketing for that, so you know that's going to be interesting to see how how that plays out um on the on on that console um but i am really excited for visions of mana and glad that we got a, a nice little deep dive into that and saw, saw a lot of gameplay and whatnot so visions of mana as well um a vow for me uh it, it, it's looking like it's going to be a miss for me i don't know it's just something about the gameplay and 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 what i'm seeing with that game is just it's just not really jumping out at me uh too much and the fact that it's first person i don't know i just feel like I, I feel like it could have been third person that probably would have would have changed it for me. But Avowed is looking like it was going to be a, it's going to be a miss. Um, first time seeing it, I thought it was going to be pretty cool. But then actually seeing gameplay, I'm kind of like, 
I'm kind of like, eh, I'm good on that. And then, uh, you know, when it comes to um, the civilization, what's the name of that civilization game? Civ-like game that they got. I'm good on that. I'm not really interested in that too much. And then with Indiana Jones, like I said, you know, I think Indiana Jones, it looks interesting, right? Um, the story looked like it, it could be cool. Shout out to my man, Tony Todd. You know, he's going to be in the game. That's going to be dope. Um, just for me, games like that, Really, for me personally, really, really need to be in third person, man. Like, I, I don't know. I just feel like with a game, with a game like that, I would, I would much rather that be in, in first person, right? Uncharted, Lost Legacy gameplay. Um, and the reason why I say that is because, like, yo, the most recent Uncharted, you know, you know, we could even do the most recent Uncharted, right? Um. You know, when you look at those types of those styles of games and whatnot, you know, it, it it's it's you know, this Lost Legacy, you feel me? Just even Lost Legacy, which is like not even like a main mainline game, it's more of like an expansion to the to the main game. You know, it just it hit different, man. Like being in third person and experiencing that and stuff like that, it just for me, I would much rather games like this, those Indiana Jones S Tomb Raider S style games. I just feel like they 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 fit better and hit better as third per, third person experiences for me personally. Looking at the actual combat and it seems they teasing, man, right? Because you 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 put the game you put the game in third person when they swinging and when they're uh uh climbing and all this other stuff, but then you pull it back into first person for combat. I don't know. I just personally feel like that that's kind of off even like doing stealth and all that in, in first person just i don't know man it just it's it, it don't sit with me man it just don't sit with me i'm i'm good man i am not feeling that i am not feeling that man real talk it looks interesting right like i said but i'm just not feeling that first person man i am not feeling that at all i am not feeling that And then look at this, like, this is Lost Legacy from, like, four years ago, five years ago. This just looks better in, in, yo, I, let me shout out, because people going to say, oh, you being a fanboy, well, I'm not, I'm really not trying to be a fanboy. Like, I'm not, I'm not on no fanboy shit or nothing at all. I'm just being honest. Real talk, I'm really just being honest, man. Also, Persona, why change it from third person at certain actions? That's what I'm saying. Like that, <clears throat> excuse me. That's what I'm saying. Like that just doesn't, to me, that just doesn't make sense to me. It, it, it doesn't make sense to me. Hellblade digital only? Really? They really just missed the mark on a few things with Indiana Jones. Yeah, like, like I said, I think the, the story looked like it, it could be pretty interesting. And, and things like that and, and how it looks, you know, I mean, obviously it's not on PlayStation's level, but I thought it looked pretty cool. But I do think that um, that first person is just pretty jarring to me personally. It's really throwing, it's really throwing me off. I, I'm not even going to cat with you. It's throwing me off. It's really, it's really throwing me off. I'm not trying to cap. No cap. No cap, man. It's throwing me off. Hellblade. Hellblade is Hellblade. You know, we already know that Hellblade, Hellblade is going to be, you know, for those who have played Hellblade 1, I think we know what, we, what to expect from Hellblade 2. I'm hoping that it has a little bit more combat sequences and things like that, right? And clean up the combat a little bit, make it a little more tight or more fluid or whatever, right? But at its core, Hellblade is a psychological, uh, mental thriller, right? The, the whole premise of the game is uh, surrounded around mental, mental uh, awareness and um Senwa going through her mental issues and stuff like that throughout the game and dealing with her own personal demons and stuff like that right that's the core of the game right so like expecting like god like god like i said god of war devil may cry or something like that that's that's that was never what uh hellblade was so that's not really something i'm going into expecting but i am expecting a little bit more combat than the first game uh, a few more combat sequences and stuff like that how much is Game Pass for a month? I think it's fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars for a month, or five dollars, depending on what tier you get. If you if you get Game Pass Ultimate, Priscilla, I think it's um, 
15 a month if you get Game Pass regular or I forgot what the middle tier is. I think it's $5 a month or something like that. Um, I could be wrong, though. But uh, yo, what score? What score y'all giving it in the chat, man? What what score are y'all giving this uh this Xbox developer direct? Like I said, my score is sitting at about a five out of ten. Um, I do think they show some pretty interesting things. Um, even things that might not really resonate with me. Um, I do think you know they still look pretty okay. But for the things that resonated with me, um, I'm putting this 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 direct at a a, a five out of ten, personally. All right, I see some 6 out of 10s, 5 out of 10, 3 out of 10, 4.5 out of 10, 6 out of 20. <laughs> Yo, Damien, you funny. 5 out of 10, 4 out of 10. Yeah, I think we're all in the same ballpark, right? I, I think it, 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 it you know, they, like I said, they, did, they showed a couple of cool things, but they didn't really wow. Like, they didn't really wow me like I, like I would have hoped that they would. Um, Oh, let me see if Barry trying to pull up. Did Barry say? This isn't what Xbox needed for this. I'm for real, bro. Shit was ass. Two out of ten. Two for effort. <laughs> uh, you give it a C. Yeah, I give it about a C minus. About a, about a C minus. Yo. Yo, boy, what up, nigga? What up? You can hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Hold on one second. My bad. Are you good? Say something again so I make sure the chat hear you, too. Yo. Say it again. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah, I, I'm not close to the mic. I'm, I'm about to be close to the mic now. Oh, I'm doing the wrong one. Yo. That's fine. Go ahead. Oh, my bad. Keep Yo, talking. man. I, I, I'm, I'm going to keep it. I'm uh, Listen, my, my standard is low for Xbox, so my score is graded on that low curve. I, I'm, I'm going to give it like a 6.5 uh, uh, out of 10. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, I, I felt like Hellblade looks good, but very, very disappointing that they saying that this game going to be shorter. Hellblade already was like a five to six hour game. And this dude led off with, we're going for high fidelity. Okay, understandably and all that stuff. But it's a shorter led narrative game than Hellblade 1. That is crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Because Hellblade 1, you Hellblade led, 1 you was. Led, bro, you led, you led off showing Hellblade off in 2019, 2019 in the Game Awards. And it's coming out in May 2024. And it's gonna be a shorter game. Yeah, that that, that for me crazy. that for me that's kind of that's crazy as well. Cause I'm like, yo, I just, the, the, I just the, first, the, the first the first the first the first game. Everybody can hear the dude. The first go, go the, to the dude that just retweeted. All right, the first the first game the first game was uh, hold up. the first game was 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 like twelve like was like what four hours three, nah, four, the, five hours. The first game the first game was like five to six hours. It's longer because, you know, you was doing the little collectible stuff or, you know, the, the runes and all that stuff. But if, you just, if you're just playing the game, like, you know, how typically how they always will say, if you just play the game, no side stuff. It's like five to six hours, bro. It's a short game. I, yo, I, I've beat Hellblade, the original game, like about four or five times. So I know it's a short game because Where there was one rune I had to get for my Platinum and Trophy and that run. I had to play through the whole game to get the trophy. And yo, it, it legit, it was like three hours, four hours just running through the joint. And I'm giving it five hours, six hours just off of the strength of the first time I played the game. That's how long it took me. I got the I got my whole stream of Hellblade on, on YouTube. It was like six hours in total. It took me to beat the game. And I was a Russian. You know what I mean? And this dude just said, yo, it's going to be a short oh, narrative to play, game, I'm about bro. to play it right now. At Ninja Theory in Cambridge, UK. We're now in the final months of development on Senua Saga Hellblade 2, and the team is working hard to bring you an unforgettable journey into Senua's unique world and her battle for survival, where we have once again combined high fidelity and immersive presentation with a shorter, narrative-led experience that focuses on the things that we really care about and that we hope you care about too. At Ninja Theory in Cambridge, Yo, UK. Yo, so I... We're now so... in the final months of development.
All right, so it's some news coming out. Shout out to shout out to Stone. He, uh, I don't want to show my DMs. So hold up, let me uh, make sure I got. Oh, is uh, it breaking news? Nah, it's about Samuel Saka. Samuel Sacrifice. Hold up. All right, so so they saying that the game the game is going to be uh similar in length to the first game, which is seven to eight hours, and will launch digitally for forty nine ninety nine. Why is it not up for pre-order that's, right now? That's that's the original price of the first game. Was, yeah, uh, yeah. No, nah, first yo, game. Hell, I th- hell, first game was thirty nine ninety nine. Hellblade is not no seven to six hours, bro. It is not a seven to six hour game. That is cap. I'm looking, yo, bro. I'm looking at my live streams right now for Hellblade. It's like six hours I beat this game in, and that was my first live. That's my first playthrough of this game. I didn't know anything was going on. And I told you, like, when I when I was going for the platinum and I need that one rune, it, it, it was like three hours. I, I just steamrolled through the game. You know what I mean? Obviously, but nobody's not gonna steamroll it through the first playthrough, but it is not a seven to eight hour game. It is not no seven to eight hours. <laughs> I played that game way too much to know that game is not no seven to eight hours. Trust me. I'm not saying it's bad. That don't mean it's bad. That don't mean it's horrible, but they are lying when they say seven to eight hours. That's a complete other lie complete other lot you know what i mean but yo to get back to my point the reason why i gave it a 6.5 out of 10 is like yo yeah hell hellblade releasing in may i'm happy that he got a release date but yo that's 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 far man we're in january persona that is far you know what i mean may is far as hell you know what I mean? i'm looking at it for the xbox perspective i'm like damn y'all ain't got nothing until hellblade 2 come up and then you look at the other games everything is like Second half fall, you know, later on in 2024. Like, yo, what the, yo, you show you doing a showcase in January, and these games have been announced years ago, and you you update everyone, and you still you still gotta wait to like second half of 2024. Not saying that's a horrible thing, but it's it's a little disappointing knowing that these games, some of these games were shown in 2020, 2021. You know what I mean? But uh, in, as far as Indiana Jones, as far as Indiana Jones, I want to say this, man. I think the I think the adventure is gonna be fun. It looks like it's gonna be an upbeat, fun Indiana Jones adventure game. But the first person perspective is not a seller. The animation looks janky, you know. From from the whip, it looks janky. It looks the whip didn't. I don't think the whip looks like it touched dude. And he's tripping all over the floor. It looks it looks very very janky, man. Uh, uh the fighting scene with the melee when they showed that little extra, I was like, oh, that look. You know, what I mean, I I I don't want to hate on it, but I was like, damn, that don't look too good, man. That don't look too good. You know what I mean? Avowed. I'm not really interested in avowed. I'm not saying that looks bad, but come on, man. This we're in 2024 now, man. You know, I'm sick and tired of these games. Where it's just like, okay, we're meeting the status quo. We're just putting out a game. You got you got a wow and 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 appeal to people now, man. You got you got you got to set the benchmark. Like Xbox games is not setting no benchmark. Hellblade will, as far as a visual look. But I'm just like every time I see a game, it's just everybody's like, ah, eh, you know, it looks good. The gameplay, you know, what I mean, I get to, I get to do side quests, but it's nothing wow. Like, oh wow, that looks amazing. You know what I mean? It's just eh, all right. I'll play it. it uh, six out, of, six up, six point five out of ten, man. Six point five out of ten. And yeah, Hellblade, it ain't no seven to eight hour game. No way. No yeah, way. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not feeling real talk. I'm not feeling the fact that, like, yo, why is? Oh, I almost looked at my DMs on on. <laughs> uh, why is? Uh, how many? Remember how Wait, X Well well I take that back. Hellblade is is uh my run was eight hours in my first run of Hellblade in my two streams. Yo, my so whole thing my back. whole thing my whole thing is this man and, and I'm keeping it is all the way funky. You understand? Yo, when it come when it comes to, to, to Hellblade 
2. But that was a lot of talk. This is about. this is Hellblade 2. This is a game that like, you know, I definitely been anticipating for a while. It seems strange though that the scope of the game wouldn't be bigger with all the time. Like we're talking from 2019 and now. That's what five almost 5 years and we're talking the same length, same scope. Like the game looks prettier in certain aspects, but I'm interested to see how much more in depth will the game be, especially with it being the same length and time, right? So that's kind of like something, especially since, you know, one of the things with, with what Ninja Theory was saying when it came to being acquired by Microsoft was it was allowing them to give them more freedom, more money, more technologies to build bigger and better games just to take, you know, this long to put out a game that's still the same length as the first game, but costs more. You get what I'm saying? Because when Hellblade first came out, it was $39.99, not $49.99. Um, Hellblade 1, when it first came out, was $39.99, not $49. Um, but really? yeah, I was. But my whole thing, my whole thing with, with Hellblade 2 is it looks interesting. It looks cool. It's definitely my most anticipated coming from, like, the Xbox studios. So um, I'm going into it like, yo, listen, I, you know, I definitely want to play this game, experience this game, see Sen Senwa's uh, journey continue. Um, with Avowed, yo, I, I mean no disrespect when oh, I... Oh, this is what you meant. It's, it's, it's digital. Yo, I was even looking, bro. It's digital only. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's digital only. I mean no dis mm. I I mean no disrespect when I when I when I say this right. Um, Avowed, I don't know, bro. Like it just doesn't. It's not sticking the landing for me, man. Like I I it's I, not I, it's type not, of game. It don't look yeah, bad not, though. No, it, it don't. No, I'm not saying it's a bad game. I'm not even. I'm not even on that type of energy. It just for me personally, it's not sticking the landing. When I when when I saw that very very first trailer, the first time we ever saw that avowed trailer, that looked more interesting than what I'm seeing now with the actual gameplay. So for me, avowed is going to be a kind of maybe you know down the line if it's you know that's probably like a wait for a sale type of game for me. I'm not going to grab that out the gate because everything I'm seeing just doesn't really it's not it's not resonate with me personally. Uh, that 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 RTS, I mean that civilization style game. I'm good, you know. I, I you know I'm not I'm not really uh, I'm I'm good on that, right? Um, Indiana Jones. Listen, man. I talk, before we even did this stream, guys. During the pre-show, I said this needs to be third person. This it it, it just resonate. It will resonate better with third person, bro. And you've actually got uh, uh what's his name um Harrison Ford. Why wouldn't people want to see Harrison Ford fighting and 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 shooting? Why would you think people wouldn't want to that, see that? That's probably why. That's probably why because it'd be it'd probably be more money. Bro, we talking about a trip. Bro, no, 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 bro. We're not doing that. We're not doing that because I, any I, other I'm, any I'm other time. No, 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 you are. But any any other time, people. What, what do they always say, Barry? <clears throat> well, you know, Barry. Microsoft. In my fact, you know, this is a game of politician moment. Where are my glasses? This is a game of politician moment. That's what this is. This is a gaming goddamn politician moment. Where the hell are my glasses? This is a game of politician moment. That's what this is. If I could put my fucking glasses on. <laughs> yeah, Jeff Grubb, funny as hell. Well, guys, Mr. J. Barry. One thing you've got to understand, sir. Microsoft, Microsoft is a trillion dollar company, right? The Game Pass is the future. Microsoft bought Activision for $70 billion because this is what's best for the industry. They, they are a rich company. PlayStation can't compete when it comes to buying these studios. They cannot compete. This is a trillion dollar company, Barry. This is a trillion dollar company. What do you mean you don't want to pay the money? What? Cut it out, man. Cut it out. Cut it out. The, the audacity of you to even make that excuse. Cut it out, man. Cut I'm it out. I'm just saying, like, yo. Nah, it, nah, nah. There's a reason why you do first person because you don't have to animate for everything like a third person. <sighs> like, you know what I mean? I, I heard, I heard in the, um, in the, in the, in the, the, the talk they had, it was like, there's going to be certain parts that, Third person, yeah, like, yeah. The certain parts that's third person like is that? him climbing, <laughs> is him climbing and swinging. They showed you it in the video. 
him climbing and swinging are those certain parts that they're talking about. So that whole we don't want to animate for this, that's bullshit too because you're yeah, animating well, yeah, yeah, true. you're animating the swinging, you're animating the climbing and all these other things that will be in third person. So why not just do the whole game in third person? That just does not it does not make sense to me, man. I, it it looks fun though. I, I say no, it, no. I, listen, it, it it looks cool. Like I'm still, you know, I, I'm still like one foot in, a foot and a half in. Like you know, like listen, just for me, man, it's a big disappointment that this game is in first person. That that's really my biggest gripe. It's a yeah, big, like, big you're gonna disappointment. You're going to have it in first man. person. You you have to get the animations on point. The animations look janky, it, yo. And that's no disrespect. It looks janky as hell. Like seeing the when he pulled out the gun, I was just like. Yo, you got to make sure those things are on point because that's what everybody's seeing. That's what everybody's looking at. You know what I mean? You can't cut corners on that. I, well, didn't, I didn't like how I didn't like how the, the melee looked. I didn't like how the whip animation looked. Yeah, the whip, the whip. It, look, it the, looked off. I like the use of the whip where, like, you could use it as, like, you know, distract a guard or, you know, swing or climb or, or you know, obviously attack enemies and stuff like that. Even that don't make I think, sense. Like, I, it's cool game mechanic, but it don't make no sense. Like, the whip crack at the wall, and you're not going to hear the, the back of the sound of the whip. You know what I'm saying? Like, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's gaming. gaming it's a game. Uh, mechanic, but but I, I get what you're saying. I just think, like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, I just was expecting more of, like, a Tomb Raider Uncharted when it came to this Indiana Jones game. I was just expecting more of that. Obviously, with it, machine games is you know first person, blah blah blah, all that bullshit. But I don't know, man. Just you know, because because I look at studios like Gorilla, who mostly made first person games and made a third person with Horizon, you know, and took that chance and hired the right people to steer them in the right direction so that they could make that. That's why, I like this whole oh well, they are known for this. Yo, real talk, that don't fly. Like for me personally, that doesn't fly anymore. Because when you look at other studios that are known for making a specific style of game, but then branch out and, and, and try to do things differently or with something else, I, I, I just can't, like, again, this could have been Machine Games' opportunity to be like, yo, we're going we gonna to do something totally different, something totally new, something totally unexpected from us, and make a third-person Indiana Jones game, and we're going to make sure... We gonna make sure we have the right people on board to help us with building out this third person game the best that it can be. Yeah. I, 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 I mean, and, and yeah, again, I, I and again, because, that, and, 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 that and, and yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, cause again, Bari, there's too many examples. Again, Ergo Gorilla, Ergo Naughty Dog. What was Naughty Dog first couple games? They sure as hell wasn't Uncharted in Last of Us. They evolved to that. They would make a platformers. They evolved to that. Same thing with Sucker Punch. They was making Sly Cooper and shit. And then they evolved to Infamous. Then they evolved to uh, 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 um, uh, uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Insomniac. They were making Spyro games back in the fucking 90s. They evolved to Ratchet and Clank. Evolved to, 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 to Resistance. Evolved to Spider-Man and, and Wolverine and all the other games they got coming out. It, it, there, there is no excuse for oh we're, well we're known for it nah bro I don't want to I don't want to hear that man I, I like respectfully I don't want to hear that because that to me with, with with all due respect is bullshit because all these other studios are doing it why can't you step out step outside your your comfort zone I just feel like with Indiana Jones that is a game that needs to be in third person especially since you got Harrison Ford. You know, you do you really think Indiana Jones fans don't want to see Harrison be, you know, see Harrison Ford punching people and shooting? You, you, do you really? Do you... I mean, it, it just sets up a better narrative perspective if it's uh, third person, you know what I mean? Because you get to see the character, you know, with, with a lot of things, even, even when it comes to those moments where you're just. You know, traversing in the world or just having conversations uh, with a whatever AI partner or whatnot, or he's just talking. It just it just builds a better narrative perspective uh, than first person. Not not against first person games or nothing like that, but 
I, I don't think a, a game like Indiana Jones should be first person, but we'll see how it is. I mean, we'll see. Is. Obviously, we need to see and play that, obviously. But yo, shout out to Viper Reefs, 33 months as a member on the channel. says they won't play this because it's not going to Game Pass. They still won't play it, even if it is in Game Pass. He's talking about Visions of Mana. Um, and then shout out to uh, Steady Flow. Appreciate you for the super chat. He says, Xbox just making games that will have you say... I would just subscribe for a small fee to play these games, but not pay full price for these games. Sad. That's what I'm saying. Meeting the status quo. Yeah, they, like nothing, to me, nothing outside of the Hellblade, which even that, you know, that bar is still kind of, you know, is middle of the road. But I didn't really see anything that really was next, next gen or current gen defining or, you know, like, yeah, that's current gen. Like that's, that's a, you know, that's a next gen game type of thing. I'm still not seeing that from Xbox. We're still, I'm still waiting for that Wow Series X. <laughs> you know, I'm happy I bought this console. You know what I mean? You, I, you I don't want really to get see that, that with a with a five hour game. Nah, not a digital one. Most five of y'all, hour game. most of y'all play on easy mode anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, shout out to uh, Adam. Adam, he says. Game Pass, Game Pass. I have it on my PC and my Xbox. This is why all the games need a budget friendly to develop and don't evolve. But this goes back to, yo, this goes back to a conversation I had um, like two weeks ago where I said, Play, uh, Microsoft needs to renege. <laughs> Microsoft, Microsoft, Microsoft needs to renege on everything being day and date in game pass they need to renege on that man they I, like they ago. need to renege oh, yeah it was two weeks ago or was that last week i forget like two Brother, weeks what that's a, go ahead <laughs> what you say say it what no you good <laughs> i don't know we i don't remember well i've been saying this for longer than that but he, i'm talking about the most recent time i was talking about it you've been saying it boy I, I definitely was was saying that place Microsoft needs to renege on doing games day and day in Game Pass. What are you talking you about? You were saying it. Yeah, I was saying that. What are you talking about? <laughs> Barry said it. Barry was saying it. Lucky you, my brother. Barry was saying it. Barry was saying it. You lucky. You lucky. Barry said it. Barry said it. Barry said it. Barry said it. Barry said it too. <laughs> I love. I love you as well. Pause. Barry. Barry <laughs> said it first. <laughs> 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 nah, Barry definitely was saying it. But in terms of like, you know, the conversation, it was, you know, I, I've said it a couple times, but yo, I, five out, for me, five out of 10. I stand on Damn, that. Five out of 10? Yeah, I stand on that. You capping. Really? Yeah. Barry, you gave it a 6.5 out of 10. What the fuck are you talking about, my cap? No, no, like, five, like a five out of ten. I mean, like, it, it's just a, it was a bad show. Like, nothing to call your interest or whatnot. No, five out of ten is is average. The re the reason why I'm giving it a six out of ten is because I'm like, I feel like the release dates is 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 is, is too far from like, yo, these games been showcasing for for four years, bro. You know what I mean? I'm like, yo, damn, you gotta wait till holiday for everything. You know what I mean? <laughs> Other than Hellblade, everything is a, is a fall release. Yeah, but that that but that's why that's why my score is not going to be no higher than a five out of ten because right. we also don't have no release. Like, yo, that's another great point. You've been showing these games for how long now? We still don't have no release dates for these games, and the, you open the year with uncertainty still because we still have no release dates for these games. We know that you have more games in the pipeline from like you know Clockwork and all these other games as well. Why not give the dates here to set the year up? We're at the very, oh, this is, is the first month of the year. No, no. I'm just saying the games that they showed are games that we've known about for quite some time. We only got a release date for Hellblade 2, right? If these games are all slated for 2024, this is the first show that you're doing in 2024. Why not set up the yeah. year with this show and really like come, come to the table with dates and like, yeah, yo, we, this is coming out this year, that year, this year. And, and yeah, for the people, people gonna ask, yeah, right? and, for, and for the people that's saying, oh, because you know, the, you, you bar, you already know the what about isms. Well, what about, you know, what about PlayStation? What about, what, do you have the same thing? I would be saying the same things about PlayStation if they started out the year like this with no dates. I would be saying the same thing. Where I would say, yeah, it, it's good to see, but we need dates. Hey, like, we, we still saying it when it comes to first party. Yeah, that's <laughs> exactly. We're still talking that. So for the people that's going to come with the, oh, well, you know, the what about isms, you know, what about this, what about that? That's all bullshit as well. 
my whole point my whole point is this playstation i mean excuse me xbox they're starting they opening up the year they open up the year they starting the year off they're the first one to, they're the first one to do a show this year they starting us off you could have set the stage you could have set the precedent like yo playstation nintendo we got dates so when you do your state of play or your Nintendo Direct, we better see some dates too. You could have set the stage. These are hey, games. Yo, these are games. These are games that are already that are already announced and we've known about for a while. Mm-hmm. Which is why I'm I'm kind of being hard on the whole date thing as well because we've known about these games for a while. Where the, where the dates at? Where the dates? Yo, listen. Five out of ten. I'm good. I'm good, man. I'm good. They, 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 they dropped the ball on a few things, and certain things just not. It's not jumping out at me, man. It's not. It's not wowing me. It's not. You know, like that wow thing. I, I'm not getting that respectfully. Yeah, there's no, there's no wow factor. Uppercase no J said, yo, shout out to Jamil. Appreciate you for uh, 28 months as a member on the channel. He said, if you had, if, Jamil, come in, Discord, come in the Discord. Come in. We here. Oh, if there was a score, the score. Bro, if, 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 if there was dates, if, yeah, if it was yeah. dates, I, it, if, it, if, it, if there were dates, it would have been about a 6.5 to a 7. Because you got dates. I would have put, put it up to a 7.5. Because you committed. Yeah, you committed. You're setting the but stage. My, my, my thing, my thing is like the it's oh, so you at far work. out. You say you can. it's so far out when it comes to the. If they would have like, gave dates for everything that they shown here, it'd have been a seven. It'd have been it'd have been a six point five to a seven straight up, no cap. And it's not like a, it's not like a crazy crazy bad thing, but it's just like shocking that these games were shown twenty twenty. <laughs> you know what I mean? You let off with a direct for twenty twenty four, and you still gotta wait till uh 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 holiday season. Second half of 2024. Hellblade, cool. They that mean that, that mean it's gonna be dry. Date. It's gonna be dry for play for Xbox until May. Hell the yeah, because they're gonna have a walking sim for a game. <laughs> that's what they that's and a lot of the a lot of a lot of these dudes not gonna play that either. <laughs> Real talk. They ain't playing that shit. These dudes, yo, the, yo, let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. This the, the usual suspects. Go and search their Twitter and look up Hellblade from like 2017. It was trash. They, they don't game. care. They don't care about that game. Trust me. They don't care. The only reason they played it on Xbox is to keep to save face, keep up appearances. They don't care about that. They're not going. And even the ones that is talking about it ain't even play the game because you got a lot of people hyping the game, but ain't play the first one or just playing the first. Yeah, you know, I got to play the first one. But I'm hyped for the second one. What? Shut up, man. Uh, shout out to y'all, though, man. Like, I appreciate y'all rocking out with me. Uh, so, Barry, that's your final score? 6.5 out of 10? Yeah, 6.5 out of 10. Any other thoughts? Final thoughts? Let me ask you this question before I- we get up out of here. If, Mike, if, Phil, if, if Phil Spencer calls you up, ring, 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 ring. Hey, Jay Barry. One of the whoops, boys. Uh... I got a question for you. You know, I know you watch the show, and you know, what do you think we should do bit different next time? What would you tell him if Phil Spencer hit you up? Was like, yo, what do we need to do different for the next Nintendo? I mean, uh, Xbox Direct. What would you? Uh, what would be your pointers? My pointers would be, yo, get get some next gen games. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, your, yo, really, truly, your games have like the same color palette. You know what I mean? Whatever you got to do with the developers, yo, you got you got to get on that shit. <laughs> I don't know what is going oh on on Xbox, God. but I feel like they need to 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 they need to <laughs> hone in as far as like their their skill set and lock in because I, I I don't think it's a lock in environment over there Xbox man. I think it's a lot of free free willy nilly stuff and get the Game Pass mindset out of your head as far as like okay we're developing this game to go into this service, uh and we're gonna go from there. Cause that's that yo that that's always gonna be my impressions with when it comes to Xbox man. It's like that's what I'm getting. Like yo, you're not developing this game for people to be like, oh, this is a seventy dollar purchase that I want to buy. This is something that they go, oh, we're gonna develop develop this game because this is something that is gonna be in our service that people have access to the game rather than develop 
for a, a full fledged title. But there's a lot of shit that Phil need to get get through, man. To be honest with you, if if, if, not if just one thing, if Philip Bartholomew J Spencer called me up and said, "Hey, uh, Persona, what um, what do you think we need to improve with our next Nintendo Direct?" I would say, Philip Bartholomew J Spencer. Thanks for calling. First of all, I appreciate you calling me. Um, and I appreciate you caring about my opinion. Mr. Spencer. I think you need to provide more dates. There's a couple more dates. But also be intentional with what you're doing. What do I mean by intentional? I feel like you're playing around with the, with the games, right? You're hyping up this direct, you know, oh, we're going to have these four games here. You're going to get updates. I'm thinking, okay, we're getting updates with dates. Again, updates. Keyword dates. Where's the dates? You get what I'm saying? We need more dates, Mr. Spencer. The other thing I would say, uh, Mr. Spencer, is um, kind of mimic what Bari said. You got to do a better job of put, showing us the games that wow us. Like, wow, I got to play this. Wow, I got to pl- own this or whatever. I'm just not getting that. Just not getting that, man, respectfully. And ease up on the first person. Ease up on that, man. It's too much. Do some stuff that's in, fir- in third person. Yo, Caleb Kaiser. Barry, do it better. Barry, do it. Do it. Do it. How you doing? I, I miss what you said. Caleb Kaiser. Do it, do it, do it, do it for me. Oh, Caleb Kaiser. Shout out to my boy Caleb uh, for the $2 super chat, super chat. He said, the WLF edition has shipped. Yeah, I actually just got my email as well. Mine shipped as well. So you already know tomorrow. I'm going to show y'all, show yeah, y'all what that's looking like. I, I, well, I got it from UPS. Let me see PlayStation send an email. Yeah, PlayStation sent me an email. Um, and then I check UPS. UPS is um, saying they'll update the, the, the date soon. So oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's sent it at 3.30. Yep, that's when they sent mine as well. So. We'll have that tomorrow. Show that off a little bit. You know, very excited for the last of us. And like I said, Yo, I will. So this is, I will. This is digital, right? Yeah, yeah. The, the WLF is going to have a digital code. It's not going to have um, a disc. We're have a little giveaway for whoops, uh this uh, this weekend. Oh, what you say for some? Uh, you said let me in. You want to jump in the Discord, uh, Kendra? Hold up. Are you in the whoops Discord? Go to the open chat, Barry. Go to the open chat. She can, she can come in this chat. Uh, she's a... Uh... Oh, you're right. He's a mom, I think. I go to open chat. Don't yeah, go to open chat. Go to open chat. She probably in incognito. Yo, if y'all want to come through, y'all can come through. All are welcome, man. If y'all want to give y'all thoughts real quick, I'll, I'll stay live for like another, another, uh, you know, 20, 10, 15 minutes or so. If y'all want to so come you, through. You just, a, you just, a, uh, 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 a PlayStation fanboy that hates on Xbox. That's why you didn't like the show. And you're just a panderer. That's why you gave it a 6.5 out of 10. <laughs> you it's pandering. Not about you. No, it's about it's you. A- it's about you. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't about me. It's about you. Yo, Kendra, what's up? It's about, it's about you. It's not about me. Oh, yeah. No, it, it's, it's about oh. you. It's, it's definitely about you. You pandering. You pandering to the you you pandering to the Xbox community. Cause you're trying to get some super chats. <laughs> I got you. All right. All right. This man hey. the whole joint. Yo, Kendra, what's good, Mama Kendra in the building? Mama what's Kendra. good? What's good, y'all? Listen, I'm not gonna stay too long because I'm actually on Twitter looking at all these tweets. But they had a comparison going on from the uh, today's uh, Indiana Jones announcement from like the graphics and 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 how it looks and everything, and they compared it to the PlayStation Four. Uh, to uh, 2016. Uh, <laughs> oh <laughs> no! And the comparison. <laughs> listen, um, <laughs> yo. Hey, Wait, yo. Let me, let me, what they what they let compare me it to? Like, it well. No, it's a side by side comparison. Yo, DM, DM me on Twitter the the post so I can see <laughs> that. I want to see that. Let me let me send I'll send it to you right now. <laughs> I, I had to pull up on this one because I was like, wait a second, <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> Um, actually, I'll send it to both of y'all Yo. in the, uh, in the uh, chat. I just, I just thought that was interesting to show a side-by-side comparison of what we got today and the 2024 
uh, I'm sorry, the uh, PlayStation 4 in 2016 graphics. I just thought that was interesting. Oh, Guapzilla so in the house. Yeah. I see you, Guap. Shout out to Guap, man. What's good, bro? Guapzilla in the house. Guapzilla in the house. What's up, Guap? So, um, <clears throat> yeah, y'all tell me what y'all think about that. Uh, yeah, I just sent yeah, it to y'all. Let me check my GMs. Okay. Oh, yeah, and I got my shipping confirmation, too. Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah. Go, go on flex. Go on flex yeah. on them. Go on flex on Kendra. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I just I just posted mine. I checked a little bit, uh, a little while ago. I just, oh, they did send Hey, yo, we the, we the WLF, Kendra, we the WLF crew. Me and you, Bari, we the WLF oh, yeah. crew. They ain't fucking with us. Yeah, I, I, yo, I, want, I want them cards, bro. That's what I, I want. The, I really you know me. I, I, want, I want the pens and I the steel book. I, got, I have every single Last of Us steel book. I, and, mm -hmm. and every single Uncharted steel book. Oh yeah, that's I, really I can't. I I I I, I had to get this one. right next to my Last of Us Part One still book. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, let me see. Um, oh, as far as the showcase, man, why concerned. they doing this? <laughs> I know it's, it's already circling for. That's why I said I don't think they are seeing what's actually happening on Twitter right now because we in here. But uh, it seems like you know a lot of a lot of people. You know, I put a poll out just with everything that was announced in the showcase, and and, and let's be clear, I, I gave it a, a four out of ten. Um, you know, I agree with you, Persona. The we, we really should have got Indiana Jones in, in third person. There's no reason for a game of its stature to be in first. I, I just, and, and then the switching back and forth, um, it was kind of almost like they didn't know what direction they wanted to go. So they went with both, mm -hmm. but it doesn't, it doesn't work right mm -hmm. type feel. Um, so they missed the mark with that. But, but what I will say, cause I don't want people to be like, well, oh my God, you're playing avatar. I am playing avatar. Um, it is in first person. I'm a third person fan. I am playing Avatar. So what I will say is from the trailer, I haven't connected with it. It's going to have to be released. Hopefully it's released ready and we'll go from there. We'll revisit this conversation. Mm. But but that's um, why that's why I like today. I agree with that because like, yo, I, I I played Avatar. I kind of dropped it, though, man. I got I ain't gonna lie. I got bored with it. I ain't gonna cat with you. Mm -hmm. um, but mm -hmm. even Avatar, right? Even though I do think Avatar is is it's cool. I would have wanted that in third person as well. Like when it comes to, for me, for me personally, and, and I'm not above playing a game of first person, like a story specific game and stuff like that. Cause I've played, you know, I've played resistance and, and kill zone and all that. So, so I'm not saying like I'm a hundred percent against, I just feel like when it comes to Indiana Jones, a game like this, I would have just loved for it to be in third person. I'm not saying that I'm still not going to try the game, play the game and experience it. That I'm not saying that at all. Just for me personally, this being a first person is an L. For me, I, I feel like I, I mostly play like first person shooters like COD and, 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 and things of that nature in mm -hmm. first person. And that's really it. Mm -hmm. Like multiplayer PvP type stuff. Destiny, COD, Battlefield. Those are the games that like, yeah, that belongs in first person. I feel like anything else like action adventure wise, I personally feel like it, 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 sh it should lean more into a third person type of thing. Personally, every game no, don't absolutely. need to be that. But that's just that's just my thoughts. Well, absolutely, I agree because with even in the the mild character creation that was, you know, or that is in Avatar, I felt, you know, well, what's the need? As I'm making the character and I'm getting connected with making, you know, my Avatar, I had to get drawn. About, well, this is in first person, so it doesn't even really matter how I feel about my character. That part of the 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 creation in the game is is taken away from the player. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't even remember honestly what my avatar looks like from the start. I forgot all the little little details, you know, stuff like that. But and I was thinking they really they missed the mark with avatar with it being in in, in first person to me. Whether I'm playing it or not, and I think it's a beautiful world, they still missed the mark. Mm -hmm. Avatar should have been in first. I mean, a no, third person. It is too. I put, it's too beautiful of a game and mm -hmm. you don't give a person um mild character creation you know of, you know rights right without <laughs> letting them see what the hell they made yeah. <laughs> in my opinion so um yeah i i just feel that they they missed the mark there too and and we'll have to revisit it later when the game um is released and then also with not having uh release dates i think i can't remember if it was you or bar for games that were uh, mentioned, I believe, like in 2021, and to not have an actual date yet or a solid date, you know, maybe a season, but not a solid date. Again, I think that is also a mark, a uh, mismark. 
because Indiana Jones should have been the RTS. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I just think that uh I think we should have got I, I gave it a four out of ten because of the missing information still. We're too far. Yo. These games are not new announcements. Oh man. Come on, Kendra. You know. They wrong for this. They for the, oh, for you this. saw it? Yo, you saw I that? Mean, I swear they wrong I couldn't help but they come right. up. They I wrong but they right. You get what yeah. I said? Damn. I couldn't help. I, I just, because I knew you guys were here, so I'm like, they're not seeing what's happening in the background on Twitter. And then I was like, oh my God, PS4 2016? Uh, Indiana Jones uh, uh, trailer? Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, I want to see this okay. trailer in 4K. Let me see what this is. Uh, what this looks like. Is it like. in 4K now? I yeah. think the stream was in 4K. Yeah, but oh, you know it's yeah. streaming, so you know it ain't gonna be the highest of quality. Yeah. But now we looking yeah. at it in 4K. It still look a little. Yeah. I, I don't know. It look. I, it still the, look the a little. Scene, the cutscene ain't look bad. It ain't look. It ain't bad. look bad. It look a little ashy, but you it know. Ain't look bad, but we're looking. Ain't nothing. Some Jergens a fix. It's, it's not looking bad, but let's be honest, okay? And again, not trying to bring up these games and people going to be like, oh my God, she is such a PlayStation fangirl. No, I just like visual quality. And when you have a game like Horizon Forbidden West and then you get a close-up on, you know, the villain in Indiana Jones all in his face, I didn't see the, the little fine hairs on his face and the little sweat and things that I'm looking for in this generation's consoles, which it should be that. Looking at, looking at the 4K version, so, it definitely looks a little bit more, a little bit more detailed, especially with the Indiana Jones. It definitely looks more, a little okay. more detailed. Um, well, on what scale? It don't, look better. it don't look better than Uncharted 4, though. No, it doesn't. That's what I'm let, saying. Let, what, let me ask this question. What game would you put in the, because you know, you know how this community is. They're going to try to say, yeah, it looks better than God of War. It looks better than this and that, da, da, da. Mm -hmm. What would you? What game would you put this game up against? So say, put your put yourself in the mind of an Xbox zealot, right? For a second, mm -hmm. what game would you put this game up against when it comes to PlayStation? Where you would say this game looks better than a PlayStation first party None. AAA game? Are you ready? None. I'm ready. Answer? Yeah, I'm ready. Um, if they oh. I'm like, let Not me this delete generation. My, let me, let me delete my Twitter. <laughs> let me delete my Twitter. Um, if we get, and I, 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 I kid you not, Dolph, we get some serious, um, and I know this is your, this is your YouTube, so I don't want to go that hard, but let's just put it to you like this: if we get all that energy that we got when Forspoken came out, <laughs> I promise you retaliation is on its all-time high because mm. we we they gave us shit excuse my barry i see what you're saying or, hold on kendra yo i see what barry oh, was right, saying right. where he said like it looked like the whip didn't even touch him hold up hold up i gotta slow it down it i see you, bro. i see it it's no, this it it's right. this moment right here right let me slow let me slow it down a little bit more because i see i see what barry talk i see what barry talking about I'm, I'm watching the trailer in 4k it right look, it looked it looked bad animation wise you, know, you gotta you gotta it didn't even look watch, like watch this watch this watch, in the watch, watch for the folks in the chat watch his feet watch the whip and it's not going to connect and wrap around his feet here or at least i gotta watch Kratos it in slow motion to see Jones look ashy. <laughs> Kratos, <you're> crazy. <laughs> oh it did wrap around all right never mind it did it just looked like it didn't it looked the animation looks off though a little bit. I, it, it didn't I, look I, like from the very beginning. It didn't look nah, like it didn't. Did, but it it was going so fast. It looked like it didn't, but it did. It wrapped around his feet. Yeah. I don't know, man. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, and then, and then hey, people yo, are gonna man. say, "Oh, this game is this game looks and plays way better." Yo, go back, go back when he shoot the like gun. That, he ain't even cock it. He ain't even cock the uh the the the, the pin. And he didn't look like he didn't press the trigger. Go go back to when you shoot the gun, bro. Go back. Look at the gun, bro. Let me see. Cause you have it in slow motion now, bro. Yo, go back and go back, bro. When he shot the gun. Nah, nah, you you going back too far. Yo, what was yo the whip at it? Yo, <laughs> hey, yo, Wait, wait. Okay. yo, the whip. Yo, no disrespect. The whip animation needs work. It needs work. It needs work. Yeah, no, that it doesn't needs look work. good. Yeah, they got it. They got to clean up that animation wait. on the whip. Cause look, 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 look! It just go back to the second. Uh huh. Go. Uh -huh. Oh nah, nah. They they gotta clean up that whip animation. I right, hold. On. Let me see the gun. Wait. Look when you pull out the gun, bro. It it don't even look like he's shooting it. He just got a gun in his hand. He's not even shooting it, bro. It looked off. 
the enemy or indie. This is machine games too. They they are known for shooters, so it looks it looks off when I see that. No, that whip did not grab. Uh uh-uh. uh. No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let y'all. Oh, I and then it, I, yo, I see what Barry yeah. talk about the. It, so yeah, no. it's a revolver. So because it's a revolver, the pin on the back is supposed to like lean Game back and then forward. Yo. Yeah. yeah. No. No. Yo, it did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. Look, bro. <laughs> Hey yo, wait, 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 nah, yeah. nah, 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 <laughs> chill, chill, chill out, chill out, Bari, chill out, you doing too much. <laughs> yo. Hey man, yo, I didn't, mean, yo, this is stuff Y'all I'm seeing still in the trying trailer. to find nice stuff to say about the whip, but I'm still not, I'm still not. I'm not a whip, not the, the, nah, the whip animation definitely needs work. It needs the a little more work. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it needs work. So we agree yeah, to that, because yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. mm-mm. Yeah. No, <laughs> like I think I think yeah. it's a cool mechanic in the game from what they said game wise, but animation wise, especially being in first person, you got you got to clean that up. You yeah. got to clean. Yeah, that you got to yeah. clean that because people are gonna they, people are gonna notice that a lot more. One thing I will say: yeah. the environments in this game definitely look really nice. The environments look really, oh, yeah. really, really, really nice in this game. Um, yeah. but I, it's just that first person, man. <laughs> like, oh, straight up, yeah. it's that first person. That 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 just ain't it ain't it ain't hitting on it ain't hitting for me. I mean, with the game being cleaned up and everything, the game has very high. Yo, potential. look how he hit him. From. I'm not gonna shit on it. it. It does. It has high potential, but the, like you said, the first person first person aspect of it, not a fan. Um, but this game, if it can come out cleaned up, ready to play, ready to go. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yo, think, look. Think- yo, look how he. Yo, look how he hit him. He hit him with this. He ain't even go like this. Like, you don't see the fist, like, turn like this to do a punch with the knuckles. He hit him with this. Yo, watch yeah, it again. Yeah, watch the, it again. The, watch it again. Watch it again. The, the, melee, the melee don't look good. It don't look good. Not, yo, no, watch no that. Watch that again. He didn't go across either. Watch, yo, watch, watch his left fist. He not going to hit him with the knuckle. When you about to punch somebody, you go like this and you go like this. If you go, it's like this. Yeah. He go like this. Watch that. Watch the Yeah, they gotta yeah, they gotta clean this up. Look at that. Oh nah, 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 nah. It looks nah. very, very stiff. Very stiff. It looks like the swing isn't even. Nah, he gotta cool. clean up. Yeah, 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 that's that doesn't look good. He gotta clean they gotta clean up that. Yeah, the animation. They definitely gotta clean oh, this up. Oh yeah, yo. He, he didn't he, even he, really he, bend his forearm he, he was, either. He it was straight like, arm with it. He yeah, that's what I'm saying. That that arm. animation looks off. Bend. Yeah, I agree. I think the game gonna be fun though, but like, yeah, if if you if you trying to be a big big seller, you got to clean up on them stuff, man. Yeah, that's what I'm, especially if you're gonna be. This is a AAA game. It's first person. People are gonna notice yeah, that, man. I would man. love to see this scene. I would love to see this scene on the plane. I would love to see that in third person. Mm-hmm. I would love to see Yo, that, that in mm-hmm. third person. Yo, Kendra, that's not even real. You can't jump from plane. <laughs> you <Even> believe <laughs> <little> chill, man. <laughs> this is true. Yeah, you know how fast the strength is moving. Yeah. yeah, but he's Indiana Jones though. Yo, like, you gotta <laughs> jump. You gotta jump far ahead of the plane before to land on the other plane. But not see, right, right with that type of, other. But with that type of fantasy make believe graphics, right? I mean, uh, imagination. You would want to see that in third person because that would that would just take you aback. Like, oh my God, he's hopping from plane to plane. We know that's not no real stuff, but we would love to see that in gaming. Oh right? yeah, and they took that from us. Yeah, it, it was nothing. It was nothing there. It was in first person, so you don't even get the essence of jumping from plane to plane, v- versus seeing your character take that leap. I mean, just maybe I'm asking for too much. You know, maybe that's just me. Nah, you're not. I, I don't think you're asking for too but much. Even even like Uncharted <laughs> Four, right? Remember Uncharted Four? You had the Madagascar scene. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You not. You not like. You not like. Yo, you know what's a good you know what's a good example? You know what? I got y'all. I'm gonna show y'all a good fighting example in third person and Barry no and Barry Kendra know. Okay. Um, and what in first person? No, third person. He said third person. Nathan and Sam versus Nadine. Oh yeah. <laughs> or even you you can even show the Uncharted 3 in that bar scene. That joint was fire. Nathan and Sam versus Nadine. You, 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 you know what pissed me off though? Real talk. Mm. The fact that PlayStation look how, look how, look, no look how she, or show look how she that we punched. have this Xbox show to talk about. Look how she punched. You know what I mean? Like, look, look, look. As soon as he, as soon as it start. 
But did you see? Watch. Right. Watch. Oh. Look at it. Look at Look at look 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 look. Do you see how it hit? Look look look. Out the gate. It 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 it, it the and the motion the motion. You see the motion in yeah, the hit. Look. And this is third in person. The and the realism. Boom. Look at the realism. Yeah. Come on, look man. Look at the realism. Come oh, on. She took this, that exactly. Look at it. Exactly. This this is from 20 what when when the Uncharted 4 come out 2017, 2016? When this come out? 2016. Look at that. 2016. Look at that. Yeah, May 2016. Look at that. Look at that. Come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, yeah, look exactly. And he got a bruise yeah. on his cheek after the punch. Yeah. Look at look that. At that. Look at that. Yo, come on, look at that man. contact. Bow. Hey, right that's there. the moment when Drake was like, oh, this Yeah, Drake was like, yo, I, I can't. He was like, yo, I can't do this. He said, I ain't built for this, man. He said, look he, at He's he trying to retreat. He's like, yo, calm down. Calm down, bro. <laughs> abort. <Yo>. Abort. <laughs> that first two punches and that elbow. Oh, man. He's like, hold here up, Here go the bro. fight. Here go the fight right here. Here go the fight. Watch the fight. You know. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, bro. Mm-hmm. Watch this. The Sam versus this is they fight, and, and this is third Yo, person, man. Huh? Does look better. It looked better. It, 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 I, I'm trying. I'm gonna stay quiet on that. I know how this community is. <laughs> well, you know they already. It's already circling. You know. I know. Uh, I know how this community is, man. I can't. I can't. When you, when you can bring up last gen, um, with what we saw today in comparison, we doing something wrong. Watch the fight. Watch the fight. Watch the fight. Watch the fight. I might slow down the fight so y'all can see in the chat. Look at this. Look at this. This is 2016, bro. 2016. Look, watch how he, he about to run up. Look at his fist. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Look at his thumb action. Boom. Yo, come on, man. Yo, how how the gun action look better in third person and first person? It's crazy. Oh, this is crazy, bruh. Ooh. She was beating the shit out of Sam and Nate, bruh. <laughs> look, she grabbed him. Like, yo, I don't know. Like, respectfully, and obviously, we still need to play the game, man. Like, like obviously, we going off a trailer. It's a trailer, they got right? Some, they got no, some. But, 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 so it, it, but still, we wouldn't, even, we wouldn't even be able to see this. This is they they took that they took that element from us. It wouldn't matter how we wouldn't get this anyway. In the in Indiana Jones, it's not it's not available. This type of and I'm not talking just for the cinematic aspect of a persona. I'm just saying it's just not available. Yo, this fight was crazy, bro. Look 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 yeah. how the look how the hits are connecting, and it is it's the right motion. She's actually hitting him with her fist. Mm -hmm. You see it. Mm -hmm. It's third person though. So there's yeah. more that you well, need you to add. It's more. It's more that needs to be animated here. To, to Bari's point, mm -hmm. which I'm like, yo, listen, I don't know nothing. I'm just a gamer trying to share my experiences with the world, man. <laughs> well, the the problem is that we've had experiences that have having certain experiences that already delivered and gave us more. We, we're not looking for something to get taken away or not available. I'm just saying. You don't, and again, 20, like you said, this is 2016, or you don't, th this is, this is what gaming is now and we're not having it. Like, but like you said, this it's the new trailer. We ain't going, we ain't going, we might very well play it and it'd be very well different, but it's still. Yeah. But my, my whole thing is, <laughs> this is something I was saying before where I'm like, yo, PlayStation and their AAA development, they really do mess and, and and I'm not saying this in a negative way. I'm saying this in like a kind of like a positive and not negative. It's, it's kind of like a positive, like half and half, right? Because when you experience those things from PlayStation, you pick up on that stuff, man. And 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 with other studios that aren't hitting that level, and it just it just doesn't resonate as much, man. And I don't mean exactly. that in a disrespectful way, but it's just like yo, the quality, the 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 time, the effort, the depth. You just looking at it okay. like, damn. <laughs> well you ask the question why can't we have it when we should have it all like why why not why we can't have it why are you eliminating things that are already here we should be doing th we should be doing them better yep that's the thing yep you know so yo shout out to uh, know, shout, shout out to viper reap he said uh they start and they start they start falling before the whip even touch them ah oh, man <laughs> 
That's what I saw. That's what I was saying earlier. I was like, I'm not falling for this whip thing. That's not looking good. They, they were already getting contact without the whip contacting them. That's that was off. Hey, yo, real talk. They definitely, yo, they got a they, yo, the whip on Indy. That's a signature weapon. Like you can't fuck that up. They definitely gonna have to clean up that whip animation. They gotta clean that up, man. They have to clean that up. Real talk. Just like the latest Last of Us two clips of how they crouching to make. Oh, yo, listen. I've been watching. I, I I'm against my better judgment. I have been watching a couple of No Return clips just to see. And oh man, listen, guys. This weekend I'm streaming No Return. <laughs> I'm playing the hell. I'm I'm starting the story Can't tomorrow wait. night or tonight. If I'm able to buy the game. With the ten dollar upgrade tonight, I'll start the story tonight. But no return. Mm -hmm. We playing that this weekend. This is a, and and the stuff that I'm seeing, I'm so tight because I'm like, yo, this could have been co op at least, man. I know. Let's not have that conversation. <sighs> Let's not. We gonna be here all day. Yep. <laughs> Got so hot and heated. I'm like, this is everything. Why? Why? But. Yeah. But okay, I'm whatever. excited. I'm I'm playing through the feel, story I again on like, grounded. Like and all that. We we should we should press them as far as like. Cool. Obviously, we're gonna see how it played. No return plays, but we should definitely press them about that. Yeah, at least put at least that, put okay. at least put like two player co op. It? And then we're well. Do you do you think they want to get our reactions and our response from the game and then incorporate it later? I don't know. Do, do you hey, think nah, we'll we, get that? Like, could, give, that could be something. Give them the guilt trip. Yeah. Give them the guilt okay. trip. Like, okay. yo, listen, you promised okay. factions, and you have okay. this mode right here. Put some multi multiplayer in this mode. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's do it then. Let's I'm do it. But we definitely return. Awesome. No return comes. No return comes out tomorrow, same time as the remaster. Both well, coming out at the same time. Mm -hmm. I'm streaming that this weekend because the clips that I seen, and you could play it on grounded. Oh man, yo, listen, I'm, 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 I'm excited. It's like yo, I love the Last of Us Part Two as well, so I'm playing through that story yes. all over again too. I'm excited, man. I'm excited to play. I'm very excited. Rainy week is it's a rainy weekend here for Sona, so it's nothing but gaming going. It's going. On from, it's actually from, snowing. From Friday night all the way. It's just nothing but gaming. Yes, yeah, and it it's, came out right on time. It's it's uh, <laughs> it's, it's, rain. it's snowing this weekend. So, oh yeah, but you we know, indoors. It's we yeah, it's gonna snow. Yeah. I think uh, tomorrow it's supposed to snow. So uh, mm -hmm. I'm, 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to get to the to the gym early tomorrow morning. And <laughs> you sound like me, Bari. <laughs> Let's get to the market and come back. Oh yeah, yeah gym, no, gym, I supermarket. My, my all I want to be outside no snow. No, gym, facts. I guess y'all get the snow from Friday, and then we get the rain from Friday to Monday, mm -hmm. all the way nonstop. Let me so see. we we ready. That's it. Pulled up perfect with the game. Yeah. I was like, Last of Us <laughs> remaster. <laughs> yes, please. So yeah, we. Oh yeah, so yeah, That's it's exciting. supposed to be snowing. It's still supposed to snow from now until seven a.m. tomorrow. Nice. So it'll stop okay. seven a.m. tomorrow. But it's gonna snow okay, tomorrow as well. Later nice. in the afternoon. And then Saturday and Sunday is gone. But it's 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 twenty degrees right now. No, it's thirty it's thirty one right now, but tomorrow's gonna be twenty four. Saturday is gonna be sixteen degrees and Sunday it'll be seventeen degrees. <clears throat> it's gonna be fifty nine. <laughs> oh, you flexing. You flexing, Kendra. Hey, yo, look, tomorrow I already got my day planned. Just, uh, just uh, hoodie weather. Early in the morning. Yeah, yeah exactly. 5.30 in the morning, hit the gym. Mm -hmm. Be done by like 7. By 7.30, mm -hmm. my grocery store will be open. I'm going to go grocery shopping. That's it. I'm good. That's it. I cannot wait. And I'm, I'm not trying to take it from the show, but I am really excited to tap back into The Last of Us Part 2. Like, like itchy palm. Like, I can't wait to get my hands back on it. Mm -hmm. Like feeling. I don't know if everybody feel like me, but no, I, I feel I feel that way too. Real talk. Hype. Real talk. I feel, no, I feel I'm, that I'm, way I'm too. I'm in that story crazy. Uh, yeah, Andrew. yeah. That's I'm, oh. I'm playing that. Are game. you transferring your save bar, or are you gonna try to get all the trophies Hell all yeah. over? Oh, all right, bro. I He's... want I want to get all my I want all my weapons. Yeah, me it's too. It's a new game plus yeah. me. Yeah, I'm gonna do an NG me plus too. NG plus grounded yeah. plus playthrough. Um, yeah, me too. And do new do no return Saturday and Sunday, but. It's it's gonna yeah. be a good it's gonna be a good time, man. Because Prince of Persia, I don't know, Kendra, if you picked that up, Prince of Persia. I downloaded the demo. I am going to uh, tap into that. Probably kind of run through it tonight. Um, it 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 looked it to me. It gave me. Um, you guys know I'm a huge Metroid fan, and but I'm not a Metroidvania fan. I, I, I don't ask me why. I, I can't explain it. Hollow Knight didn't did it for me. I was like, hell no. Nah. 
but um, I am a fan of Ori. Um, and it, that it gives me not the comp, I'm not comparing the games per se. I'm just saying that that world, that feel, that 3D, you know, world in the background that you see and all of that, all of its glory and all of its beauty. Um, I was a fan of Prince of Persia back in, what was that, PlayStation 2? When, we, when did we play the first uh, Prince of Persia? I want to say it was two. Don't yep. quote me, or three. I can't mm-hmm. remember. It was two, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, I was a fan of that Prince of Persia. Um, so t- um, to play this one, I'm excited. The uh, demo looks amazing. I just down- downloaded it last night. Um, I have no problem with playing that game. If I yeah. if I tap into it and it's it's everything, I will play that game all the way through. Yo, so. real real talk. I love I love this Prince of Persia game, man. Like this this is yeah. this this is this is kind of like a return to form for Prince of Persia from like the super old school ones. And mm-hmm. I love I love this game. I've been playing. I got about like five hours in the game so far. And like yo, the game is fun. The combat is good. The story is good. I'm at a point in the story that's like it's like a what the like a like a WTF moment. But like the I boss fights it. are fun, traversal, mm-hmm. the powers you get in the game. I I love this. It's crazy because I'm like, yo, this game really is like, right now it's a like contender for like, uh, uh, like uh, like one of my favorites so far. Like I'm really digging I, it, man. I'm ready. One game Not that a came fact, out you this game. <laughs> that's why I said. That's why I said I'm so biased. far. But I'm a big Prince of Persia fan anyway. So Prince of Persia, boo boo. All right, but you crazy. But the, ignore crazy. Bari. He say shit like that to piss you off. I'm not even. I'm, I'm definitely ignoring Bari because I'm a Prince of Persia fan. So I was like, <laughs> you yeah, crazy. Prince, Prince and when I saw how it came out mm-hmm. and it gave me that, that it makes me want to play Metroid Dread all over again. But Prince that's of Persia should have had um, Altair as the uh, protagonist. Listen, Bari, you, you can't come in and just start like mixing some shit up. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking with that. Yeah, I know. I, I never really got into the Prince of Persia uh, series. I remember playing the first one. I thought it was cool, but I never really got into like the other ones. Um, mm-hmm. So, but yeah, playing the demo for this one, I, 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 I'm definitely gonna pick it up. But yeah, I'll be, I, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play it. If I beat The Last of Us, like throughout this weekend, I'll most likely play Prince of Persia if I can beat that and try to get that out yeah. before uh, Grand Blue come out. Well, you played the what? demo, right? Did you, did you, enjoy, you said you enjoyed the demo, demo, or you haven't did it at all? I, I enjoyed the demo. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't complete the demo though, because I, because I oh, had gotcha. something coming. I know he's gonna start me all over, but mm-hmm. gotcha. I'll definitely purchase uh the game. I'll probably do the demo today. Um, since I I literally downloaded it last night. Um, the Prince, I'll of, the the Prince demo of Persia demo. And, and it was yeah, deeper I just downloaded it, it last night. Oh, okay, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. You are gonna like yeah. that? You are gonna like it? Um, yeah. Yo, Kendra, you picking I'll, up I'll, uh I'll you picking up Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, right? Well, that's what I was. That's what we were talking about in the space. Barry gave me all this homework. Right, you know I'm on my mission. Well, I gotta finish my Final Fantasy VII remake. Right. Oh, that takes um, precedence. I'm ready to <laughs> that, right. But that's what I'm saying. Oh yeah, that's I can't do it. Barry said I, I I have to do it, but I have to do my homework first, and then I can come what, back. What 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 homework he gave you? Oh, the the remake. Uh, the no, remake. The, yeah, the remake. Oh Final yeah, yeah, yeah. VII that remake. that yeah. I have yeah, Rebirth yeah. Uh, pre-order, so I'm ready to go. But Barry said no, 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 no. Do do your homework first. You can come yep. back to Grand yep. Blue Fantasy. You you can't be doing all that at once. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I, I would so, say don't don't, don't, don't worry. We we gonna be on that. We gonna be on Relink heavy. So don't worry about it. We definitely we definitely. Oh yeah. You. Well, you you guys already know what to do. I I am not ashamed for the uh, having y'all pull up and uh, assist. Oh, don't me. worry. Trust me. <laughs> I'm not we, that we, type of game. We got y'all. We got you, Kendra. Don't worry Tax. about it. I'm I was at, like, oh, excuse me, can I screen share, please, so I can show you my. Uh, <laughs> Funny <laughs> enough, I'm actually great. starting my um. I'm starting my uh. <laughs> Final Fantasy VII Remake uh, uh, playthrough series uh, next month, uh, leading up to Rebirth. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to play through it and live stream that. So I'm excited. Oh, cool. Excited cool, to cool. get back into that. But it's all about Grand, yeah. it's all about Grand Blue, man. That Grand Blue is fire. It's going to be I'm hype. hearing nothing but good things about it. Yeah. Nothing. It, it, it's really that good, it's too, right man. Now. It's really mm-hmm. that good. I'm actually going gonna, gonna to get on there with you, I suppose. Uh, did you play the demo, yeah. Kendra? Uh, I had the really? demo. That's... The, that's that's all I can play. No, I have I have the demo to play, but when I, I'm trying not to even do it because gotcha. if I get into it and then Barbie like you were supposed to finish Final Seven Seven. See, Barbie Wait, got so, me got too many homework. So Troy Troy Baker voices uh, Indiana Jones. 
Wow. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what uh, Caleb just said. Caleb well, said me, Troy Baker voices no. Indy. He's in everything. Shout out to you, Caleb. Appreciate you for the super chat. Hey, hey, Bari, uh, can you? Is it okay if I if I tap into the Grand Blue Fantasy uh, uh, demo? And uh, oh, yeah, is that yeah, okay? Yeah. Or sh- I can do that yo, part, that's, right? That's, but just that's, don't that's get- what I said. Like, yo, the demo is not that long for you to like. It's not going to take out. Oh, so I can much. do that. Yeah. Out yeah. Of your okay. Time. Okay. And we we about to get I, on there I don't anyway, want you to so be you yelling play. at me, talking about. Didn't I tell you this? So on on YouTube right now, you said it was okay. So now I can do my Prince of Persia and my my Grand Blue Fantasy uh, uh, demo, and then I can move on and go back to my. You got a month. You got a month. Assignment. You got a month and two weeks to beat remake. You good? Oh yeah, no, no. I I from from what my understanding is is uh, remake is um, one of the greatest stories, but not as long as Final Fantasy uh, sixteen. So I should be okay. Um, I can beat that in, somebody said a week. I can't remember who told me. Nah, a remember. week is like you like playing it hardcore. You probably like two, three, two, two and a half weeks for you. Okay, damn, he said for me. Well, I know you're not going like, unless you're putting in long sessions. Um, You're right, probably two weeks for me. Yeah, which about the two weeks. Are, what's today, the 18th? I'm still safe. I could I could finish it. You could, that, that's serious. You could finish it at the start of February. February. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Oh, what what, cha- what, 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 uh, what, cha- what yeah. chapter? You're not doing all the side quests. What chapter are you on? Or like, where are you at in the story? Right, let me ask you that. Like, what I'm happened? At the, I'm, at the, I'm at the beginning. TZ is a little bit further than me. I'm at the beginning. I right. am where, right. I'm like at the beginning. Did you, beginning did you make it to? I meet up with Tifa. And the chickens and yeah, um, chapter, uh, we, chapter yeah oh you like very, chapter three yeah. chapter four. Oh, okay yeah you early yeah I'm very in the very oh, yeah you early <laughs> yeah because you know. I right because I just got remember when I when I pre ordered Final Fantasy uh seven Rebirth I got the bundle that gave me uh Final Fantasy seven remake so yeah I just I just got both because one of them was like it didn't have it and it was like why don't you just get both because there's no extra charge to get remake mm-hmm. with that one and you get to keep it as your game so I was like okay cool. So, yeah, I got that one. So, I've been playing it. TZ's just a little bit further than me, but I'll probably pass him up anyway. Most likely. So, As you should. Yeah. Yeah, more than likely. He, he's just in it. Watch when he find out. TZ at a spot in, in a game where he, he got to make sure his party's, uh, his, his equipment look. is right because he about to fight that Hell House. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he had the second Wait, time. At Kratos. He had the Kratos second time. Why you got to ask Bari, Kendra? Hey, Bari, tell Kratos why I, why I got to ask you. <laughs> he said, why you got to ask Bari, Kendra? He don't understand the dynamic of our relationship. <laughs> With these oh, uh, coming into these. Yeah. Co- coming into these uh, JRPG, uh, JRPGs. He said, why you got to ask Bari for permission? No, I'll, I'll, because I'll, Bari I'll is my coach. Long. Yeah, he, he don't understand what took place with Liza P. See, now I listen to Bari with everything. So that's why Kratos. Kratos, Bari takes the what? Yeah, Bar- Bari takes. I beat the parade master because of Bari on on call with Bari, screen share with Bari, and I beat the parade master with him in my ear. So he he's in full control of everything. That's why Kratos. So don't worry about it. Yo, Kendra was crying and all that. Yo, I, I, I did. I burst out in tears. Oh, you was crying. I Kendra? burst out in tears. In Yo, real life, I'm not ashamed up. of it. Oh man, I gotta. I, did. I missed that. I missed that. I missed like that party that chat. <laughs> I missed yeah, that. Party I never felt anything like that before. But with all with all due respect, with Liza P, forget that game right now. Like I, I can't. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get to that at some point this year. It's a couple of like JRPGs and stuff that I want to complete this Ooh. year, like series. Like real talk, I do want to complete Final Fantasy one through uh thir- thirteen in this game. For the um for the platinum, they're just going back to the platinum. well one through six one through one through seven. I'm a platinum. Eight, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Eight, nine, ten. I'm a try ten. So one through seven, I'm a platinum. Twelve, I'm a platinum because that's my favorite Final Fantasy of all time. Um, mm-hmm. thirteen, I'm not platinum. I'm, I am going to beat those games, but I'm not going to platinum. And then uh mm-hmm. sixteen, I mean seven seven rebirth. I'm a platinum as well. So. And this is a 2024 mission, or yeah, this is just yeah, yeah, 20, 2024. Yeah, oh. by the end of 2024, yeah. I do want to have all of the Final Fantasy games completed. You know what? I'm 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 a cheerleader. Then go for it. Oh yeah, yeah. Got support. Yeah, the t- the, t- the, the toughest ones is going to be eight, eight, nine, and uh thirteen, uh twelve. Well, twelve. Well, no, not twelve, not twelve. Eight, nine, and uh and uh the thirteen series because. 
I'm older now, so I kind of like, all right, let me let me get the 13 series another shot, right? I'm older, so you know maybe it was me, right? Um, mm -hmm. But I and I pulled out the PS3 because I got all the games, so that's the series that I want to platinum and complete. And then uh, mm -hmm. the infamous infamous one and two, I played those games way back in the day, but I never platinum them, so I want to go back and platinum mm -hmm. those two games. So I can have all the uh, infamous platinums and shit. That's what's up. That's what's up. Got your your your, your timeline. You just gonna play them in between uh, uh, games that you're anticipating this year. Yeah, like, just as yeah, you kind of yeah. go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. There's certain series that I want to like go back and complete, cause like like and like play through all over again, get platinums in like JRPGs wise, cause like it's certain like, J like the secrets of, like the mana games. I want to play all through all those mm -hmm. and try to get the platinums for all of them. And get the Platinum for Vision of Mana. So, the mm -hmm. the Mega Man Network Battle games. Play through those. Um, the Trials of Cold Steel. Those are that's a series that I never played. I got all the Trials games. I want to try to play through those. Not this year, though. Like the games is long. I know. I'm Not this year. Hell no. I'm not I, playing I was about to say, he Hell got no. a lot going on. <laughs> nah, nah. Because I, 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 I got a lot of, like... I, I'm pace That's myself. An 80, 100 hours. Yeah, I'm not doing you know, this. Shit. Yeah, that not this year. I gotta pace myself. I got like real life shit that I'm doing as well. So like I can't. I'm pacing myself. So this year I'll do the whole Final Fantasy series, and then next yeah, year, this year I'm, I'm, doing, gonna do... I'm doing Final Fantasy and all the collectible games. Uh, I'm gonna complete mm -hmm. all those because the Mega Man's. I'm almost like I'm almost done with the first one, but mm -hmm. I just stopped because what's the name Final Fantasy and Street Fighter is coming out mm. but yeah I'm gonna go back mm -hmm. and complete all of those collectible um games and collections mm. but Final Fantasy I I I already beat two and I gotta finish two three uh five and six yeah I'm you at six I'm at the I halfway run, point I can run through I can run through five and six two mm. and three it's been a long time since I played those so yeah I'm at really the I'm much. at the halfway point with six that's the one I want to platinum because I've always loved Kefka as a as a villain but uh, you know that's one of the, that's one of like my game in Hall of Shames, Kendra. I never played six, mm. so like you know, let me get into yeah. that, beat that first. Yeah. And King Kingdom Hearts as well. I like I, I want to get the Kingdom Hearts. Th those are three platinums I want to get. One, two, and three. You those never are three. Kingdom Hearts. No, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Let me make sure I get my words oh, right. No, no, no. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, get your words. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm I've I, I've played I played the Kingdom Hearts games since PS2 oh, since they okay. first came out. Like I'm a big Kingdom Hearts fan. Like I I I I played the one I played Birth I Sleep, Dream Dot, all that shit. I played all that shit. What I'm saying is Kingdom gotcha. Hearts one, two, and three, I want to go back and get the platinums in yeah, those Birth games. Birth by sleep, I want to go Oh, yeah, okay, got gotcha. you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I no, like, I, I, I I yeah, I've been playing the Kingdom Hearts series a very long time. Very, very long time. Okay. But uh gotcha. I do want to go back and get the platinums in those. The, uh... I need to, I got, I got a gamer shame. Um, I'll say here, I, I need to, I need to go play Ghost of Tsushima. I have not. What? Uh, you ain't played yes, Ghost of Tsushima? Yes. I have not. I have not played Ghost of Tsushima. Oh man. Yet. That's a good but series. But that will be done. Of course it is. I already know. I, I, and I can't, as I sit back and think, I'm, why didn't you, what, what, what was you doing? <laughs> like, why didn't you play Ghost of Tsushima yet? Um, and I think I, I, I fell back. Well, my husband did. So mm. I, I I got caught up in my own stuff and he played it and then I just kept moving forward. And then I just was like, it was in my house, but I never played it. I'm like, okay, wait a minute, bring that back. <laughs> bring that back. If you So that's on my that's on my to-do list. If you do and you do that Ghost of Shishima Legends, Kendra just know me and Barry, we got the Legends raid, because there's an online multiplayer, you know, there's an online component of Ghost of Shishima and there's a raid, a three-part raid. Mm -hmm. Listen. Mm -hmm. Your boy, your boy, your boy, the whoops boys, Barry Persona got you. You hear what I say? Yo, don't, don't, don't worry about it. We, we got you. We're going to make oh, sure you got know. the best gear. We're going to make sure you set up right. Don't worry, man. The whoops boys got you. We going to get oh, you through know, that ring. I can call y'all and pull up. Look, Damien talking about I'm a fraud. Listen, I'm open. I don't never talk about, listen, if I haven't played it, I haven't played it. I don't know what happened. I got lost in it being in my No, house you know, you know, you know what happened, Kendra? I know what happened. You were probably still mm -hmm. playing Last of Us Part Two at that time because they both released literally like three weeks apart. Last of Us Part no, Two no, and Ghost no, of Tsushima no. released Persona, three weeks I, apart. I was, I wasn't probably, I was. So there you go, there you <laughs> go. Exactly, Listen, that's understandable. Exactly what I was doing. That's understandable because, like, yo, exactly the fact that those games were released in three weeks apart like that, hey, yo, uh -huh. <laughs> it was back to back for me. That summer, I was just like, yo, we got it, we got it, we got to get and, through and this. And guess what? My husband, guess what? My husband 
didn't play Last of Us Part Two. It was a flip. It was oh, literally man. a flip. Eric, Eric, it was Eric, literally Tell Eric, a stop flip. playing games, man. Tell Eric, stop playing around. Go on, play no, that but he up. Was playing, he was playing Ghost of Tsushima, though. See, that was the flip part that happened in the house where it was like, okay, wait a minute. He got Ghost of Tsushima. I had The Last of Us Part Two, so I wasn't. And then when we moved on, right, when he beat that game and I beat uh, the, the Last of Us Part Two, we just moved on and didn't go back and switch. That was the problem. That's oh, literally man. what happened. That's oh, yeah. literally what happened. He so, has he has so he played now, has he played it since or he gotta he gotta go back and play it? No, yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no. He'll 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 oh, yeah. go back and oh, yeah. and play. He has the last of us part. We have it, uh, the last of us part two. He can go ahead and pull it up. It's oh, not yeah. it's oh, not that it's just literally one you have. Sometimes when you're in a in a gaming house and I could walk past the family room and he's playing Ghost of Tsushima in your in your visual mind, you're like, Oh, it's it's there, but you didn't experience it. <laughs> it's like so wait a minute, I mm-hmm. didn't play it. So I got to go back and play it. So to hell with you, Damien. I'm, I'm 2020 was a crazy year because you had Final Fantasy, Last of Us, mm-hmm. Ghost of yeah. Shima, like back to back to then back. Then you had Spider Man, Miles yeah. Morales, Demon Souls, and all that at the, at the end I mean, of the year. Another one. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. 20, so 2020 was, like, was a wild year for gaming. Now, nah, but those, those are was. like the main series that I want to complete this year is definitely the Final Fantasy series. And if I could squeeze in Kingdom Hearts series, like towards like the holiday time, because Kingdom Hearts series, I, I can get through that pretty quickly. It's just the Platinums. That critical mode is very tough, especially fighting Sephiroth in them in, in the first two games. That's just tall. Critical, it's just, like, very, very difficult, so. Critical is harder in one than in two, though. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. in one, all I got to do Because you don't got the Valor is, mode or none of that in one. I got I to gotta beat the game without continuing, and you can easily do it easy, but I just haven't done it. That's the only trophy I need for one. Two, I need, like, three more trophies to platinum it. Mm. Three already platinum. Three, I want to platinum two. Platinum. I'm actually gonna go back and platinum three first, because that's the newest one with all that, and uh, that's actually the yeah. easiest one to get the platinum for, because there's no difficulty. Yeah, three, uh, three, difficulty three mode. platinum is, e- is easy. The hardest thing about three platinum is the, uh, the gummy, the snowboarding area, because you gotta, you gotta, mm-hmm. it, depending on the the route you take, it changes what you can collect. Mm. That's only the hardest part for mm-hmm. three. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm play through that. Start, start. That's one game I wish they would do like a, a PS5 version for is the Kingdom Hearts 3 for sure. Because Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 are 60 frames. 3 isn't. 3 is 30. So I kind of wish they would do that for, uh, for 3. But um, I'm gonna probably start that game all over, play through it all over again, mm-hmm. and just get the platinum. Mm-hmm. And I gotta do, yo, real talk, I gotta do the Remind DLC. I, I didn't even play the Remind DLC. So yeah, I'm gonna. I'm oh, remind, uh, remind is tough. Yeah, I, 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 I'm gonna play through that. She fighting all them bosses over again. Woo! Mm-hmm. Yo, yeah. Yozora. Oh man, that 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 brother that brother would tear you a new asshole, bro. Pause. Yo, shout right. to shout to yeah. Bird Man. Twenty months as a member on the channel. He says, "Tell Kendra, tell Kendra to give her horse a real personal name in Ghost Ghost of Shishima." <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what was my name in Ghost of? Sh- I think his name was Sora. I mean, Sora. Yeah. Yeah, Sora. Sora. Can I can I be honest with y'all? Yo. Anytime I have a I have to name a horse. Guess what that horse's name is? Brutus. <laughs> yeah, right. Brutus. <laughs> Just take a guess. Te- Just take Teasy? a while. No, Teasy. What? Yo, that's cr- yo, yo, chill, Barry. You play games, boy. Chill. <laughs> yo, chill out with the. Uh... <laughs> oh nah, you name it. You name it the the the, uh, the Zelda horse. Uh, what's the yeah, name? name? Ponytail. Epona. Epona. Yeah, Why well, I say ponytail? Yeah. That's, uh, that's a. Name the horse. Yeah, ponytail. Yeah. I Epona. name the horse Epona every time. Every time you I actually have a horse can't name, you can't name the horse in, in Ghost of Tsushima. There's three names you could choose from. No, Sora. Um, oh, okay. So you have to pick a Nobu. name. Oh, okay. I think it's Sora, Nobu, and something else. Name. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, the PS5 I have free version range I name. name. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, uh, I can't wait. So that's that's pretty dope. But um, yeah. Anytime I have free uh. Authority to name a horse is always Epona in every game. Mm-hmm. Every I don't care what kind of game it is, it's always Epona. Oh, Nobu and so. Kaze. Thank you, Black Bear. So the three names you could choose from was Sora, Nobu, and Kaze. I think in the PS4 version, I named him uh, Kaze because it reminded me of uh, um, the Kaze Kage from Naruto with uh, Gara. Gara used to be was is one of my favorite characters from from Naruto OG, the Kaze Kage. So that's why I think I named him Kaze. But um. Yeah, yo, yo, this was a good, this was good, man. I, I definitely enjoyed this, man. Uh, any last thoughts from you, uh, Kendra or Bari, before we get up out of here? I'm just ready. You just got it. You got to deliver, for... man. <laughs> yeah. yeah right. four, four out of ten, I'm going to stick with it's it. It's looking bad um, out here now, man. Like, you got to deliver. Yeah. 
Yeah, hopefully we see some 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 change again. I, you know, we got to see what gets cleaned up. I, my only thing is I hope these games are ready and ready on release. Um, and you know, I mean, I put a poll out. I don't know after you get off on Twitter to find out what expe- Xbox fans were. Um, uh, oh, you put a about. poll out. Let's see. I'll Let's go see check the poll. out. Yeah, I put a poll out for all the games that were announced percentages to see uh yet yeah, to see what everybody was excited about but um you know what xbox fans felt about the uh the uh, director's uh, showcase but um yeah i um listen I'm xbox fans how y'all feeling about the developer direct what y'all excited mm-hmm. most uh i'm gonna do what hellblade so yeah the, the one that's leading is definitely indiana jones 40 45 percent and then Hellblade is okay. number Hellblade two is number two with a twenty seven point nine percent. Who okay. put out that poll? Kendra, I just retweeted Me, it. I did. Oh, yeah, yeah, I just retweeted it. I just want to see. I just want to see what people. I just want to see what fans were excited about. You know, I, I don't. I have nothing negative to say. I mean, you know, this this is if you're an Xbox fan, this is your console. This was your your moment. And if you excited, hey, I love it for you. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't have nothing. But I, I'm excited personally for what I'm playing and. Tomorrow, whether it's a replay or not, I'm I'm excited for the the new ex, the new um the new experience for the Last of Us Part Two, um and things that they added. So you know, say what you want. I'm gaming out mm. here, and I'm playing Super Mario Wonder. That game is hard. Yes, sir. Yo, I got to go back <laughs> and not, finish that. Wonder, Wonder is good. A, yeah, Wonder. Yo, is I'm good. at the very it, end of uh, Super Mario RPG <laughs> as well. Like I'm literally at that final mm-hmm. boss. I just got to go back and finish it. I'll probably finish it before yeah. the month is over. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing. That's my last words. Hope y'all have a good rest of y'all day. Yes, sir. Um, tomorrow's Friday. Yes, sir. Thank God. Believe mm-hmm. me. I need mm-hmm. I need this weekend, man. It's been busy as hell this week at work. Uh, yo, man, listen, I appreciate y'all coming through, man. Shout out to Kendra and uh, Bari, man, coming through, you know, chopping it up, man. It's always good to chop it up with uh, my good peoples out here. And uh, for me, man, listen, uh, you know, it was a cool showcase. At the end of the day, this is all just jokes. And just, you know, my own opinion, you know, never take my opinion too serious. You know, if you have your own opinion, you have your own opinion, you know, like that's, that's what it is. My opinion is a fact, but this is just how I feel. But um, I do appreciate y'all coming through. Thank Everybody you. rocked out with me and, uh, you know, rock out with my channel. If you enjoyed the content, definitely like, comment, subscribe. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys this Saturday, episode 149 of What's Up PlayStation podcast with me and Bari. And, you know, it's funny. Uh, we didn't do membership topic. Listen. We forgot to do membership topics last week, so we're going to do membership topics next week as well. The, to- the, the tweet, I mean, the post will go out tomorrow for all the members on the WUPS channel, so be on the lookout for that as well. And uh, yeah, man, listen, we appreciate you guys. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Please be safe. I'm your boy Persona, and I'm out, guys. Peace.